Hey everybody. <laughs> hey, 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 welcome back to the treehouse, guys. Hopefully everyone is doing well today. <laughs> the cat is, uh, she's getting a drink. You can see her little booty. Her little cat booty. <laughs> she's very cute. I wish I should probably should zoom out of her cat cam just a tiny bit so you could see more of her. Maybe that's what I'll do really quick. Let's adjust the cat cam. <laughs> I'm gonna go to properties, configure video, maybe zoom out. digging up their front yard today. Like, I don't understand what's going on with my neighbor's yard today. I was kind of sad because I was, uh, they took out their, my neighbors took out their rose bush. Like, they dug it up. And, uh, I was quite sad. Because I like roses. <laughs> Aw, she got down. But yeah, I was watching them this morning as I was kind of like getting ready and getting my food ready for the day. And uh, I noticed they had they have this, uh, what do you call it? Like the cat. It's C-A-T, it's the cat machines. Like the little bulldozers. Or the little, uh, yeah. I don't know what they're called. But he's got the little ones, they must have rented it. And they're like digging up all the front of their lawn, pulling up all the grass and all the plants. And I'm like, what are you doing? I'm assuming maybe they're uh, changing their landscaping a bit. Or maybe they have uh, water like coming into the uh, basement. So they want to like uh, build up the dirt against their home maybe to protect from that. I'm not sure what they're doing, but they are taking out every single one of their plants in their yard, so. Uh, that's quite sad. But anyway, we're going to be, you can definitely see the uh, colors a lot better today. <laughs> hey Adelaide, welcome in dear. All of you also, hi, hi. Good morning. All of you too, good morning. <laughs> How are you feeling? I was watching, uh, so I was watching my neighbors for quite a while this morning, trying to figure out what they were doing. <laughs> it made me a bit sad, though. <laughs> hey, Forestberry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't respond to your, uh, your new snaps yet. Hi, Sky. <laughs> hey, Wall. Hi, hi, lovely. How are you doing? How are you doing? You were brave enough to join a voice channel in a Discord server today, and it was going really well. <gasps> nice. Nice, nice, nice. That would be nice. And they didn't bite your head off. <laughs> that, that feels nice, doesn't it? Hey, Forest Fairy. Thank you so much for your subscription. 10 months already? What? 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 It does not feel like it. <laughs> it does in some ways, to tell you the truth. And in other ways, it it doesn't. 
Like it's really weird. It like feels like we've almost been doing this a year, but at the same time it like, it almost doesn't. It's just really weird. But thank you so much for your subscription here. At tier two, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> feel a little bit boost your confidence a bit like now maybe uh, next time the voice track like comes along you won't be a uh, you know they won't be as nervous maybe you've been following longer than 10 months of course yes i think so yeah <laughs> i think so when are you gonna start streaming for spirit that's what i want to know <laughs> I think I still follow you, don't I? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I think I do, though. Oh, did Lucy ask that, Sky? <laughs> if you and Forest Fairy ever have a chat, was that the question? <laughs> I think we all kind of hang around in the same circles, don't we? Which, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It just means we all enjoy the same uh, types of people, right? was thinking about? Who knows, man? Who knows? Maybe she would tell you, though, if you asked. <laughs> you don't know? It's okay. <laughs> hey, Daniel. Hi, hon. Welcome, welcome in. Hopefully everyone's doing good. I was talking earlier that, uh, I was kind of watching my neighbors today. They were, uh, kind of completely destroying their front yard today. Like, completely destroying their front yard. Like, ripping up all the plants and digging. Do you guys know what those machines are called? They have, they, they have, like, cat on the side. Like CAT, but they're not. It's not a cat, right? It's a. Like a mini bulldozer is the best I can think of. Like with a tray. I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Ferex, welcome to the treehouse, dear. Hi, hi. <laughs> yeah, you definitely run into the same people when you were in the same stream long enough. That's true for us, right? Yeah. Voice to text, get ready to go to work. That's okay for us, right? <laughs> a digger? Maybe that's what it's called. I think there's a technical term for it, isn't it? Like a technical name? <sighs> Let's go to Google. Really? Time to landscape? That's kind of what it felt like. But they were digging up their grass, even. Like, they were, like, digging up the whole yard. Like, they don't, like, it's all, like, their yard is mud right now. <laughs> like, they've dug up everything. The rose bushes, the, all the grass, around, all, all the way around the trees. Like, it's crazy. Is it a backhoe? Terraforming IRL? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, I was watching uh, YouTube. I was watching Ralph Smart. What's the C A T uh, machine or vehicle? It's a vehicle, kind of. One of these. It's like 
It's a construction thing. CAT vehicle. I guess it is called a CAT vehicle. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, well, I, I was correct in thinking it was obvious. <laughs> it's a CAT vehicle. <laughs> hey, Greg. Hail to the friends. Hey, Greg, how are you, dear? Starting from scratch, it sounds like. Well, I was wondering if maybe their basement was leaky, so they wanted to, like, build dirt up near the foundation so that the water like ran away from the house because i mean they're digging up even the grass so that's what i was thinking was that they were going to add more dirt and just re like rebuild the foundation around the uh or rebuild the dirt around the foundation of the home so the basement wouldn't leak as much if they're looking for oil you should tell them oil is not worth much at the moment <laughs> Dina, welcome in on. It's really not worth that much right now, is it? <laughs> Which can be a good thing. Which can be a good thing. Negative dollars. <laughs> they could be having problems with water drainage. That's what I was thinking for. It's very, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like they were just trying to like build the water, build the foundation, like the ground foundation up so that way they can uh, deal with that a little bit better. Mm hmm. That's kind of what I was thinking. Kind of what I was thinking. I'm kind of cleaning up the edges of the painting a little bit because I noticed. We don't have a whole lot uh, of the edges completed, <laughs> so I'm just taking some time here to really clean up our painting before we move on. some kind of color on the edge even if it's all like the same it's still better than a white edge you know <laughs> hey police scotland welcome in dear how are you hi 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 how you feeling how you feeling how's everyone doing today i'm feeling good i got uh my breakfast ready I didn't get to uh, meditate before the stream though. I was too busy prepping, so I have not uh, done any meditation today, but that's okay. I still have the rest of the day when I'm done. I can always do a mini one, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes uh, it's better at night anyway. Not that it's a bad ceremony, it just, uh, 
things don't go as expected. And I'm always asked to wear a certain dress, which doesn't feel appropriate, or I don't have it. I don't have the right dress. It's interesting. You had surgery this morning. Scotland, please, Scotland. Oh, you're glad it's over with your wisdom teeth. Oh, yeah, you said that the other night, didn't you? That you were going to do that. Hey, Wilkes Art Studio. Welcome to the treehouse, dear. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'll turn us down just a tiny, tiny bit so we're not echoing back into the... now for, gosh, almost a year. We want to send a nice human body to police Scotland, specifically with their, uh, their teeth, some nice healing. to see what comes out when you're making a painting, especially when you kind of leave concepts open. There we go. Sorry, I was trying to fix my camera. Because <laughs> sometimes you just put paint down and you don't know what's going to come out, which is kind of the fun part. Is it going to be Viking themed? That's pretty sweet, dude. So 
Leslie, I need to request a rune today. Okay, Dino, you can request a rune today. <laughs> oh, you like the ring? Protective Angel? Yeah, it's a evil eye and a gemstone. I got it on Amazon. You got poison ivy on your face and eyelid somehow danger. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sorry, dear. <laughs> All right, it's uh, Etsy. Daniel, hun, it's Etsy. I'll get it for you though. I'm streaming super early today, morbid. This is our normal Wednesday thing. But yeah, it's, it's much earlier than we normally do. You love it. I got the bracelet too. You guys wanna see my stuff for a minute? I got a bracelet, which just is part of our giveaway right now, so if you're a subscriber to the channel, I'm giving away chakra tumble stones with a selenite charging pad, some extra stones, and a uh, evil eye bracelet. Kind of like the, exactly like the one I'm wearing, so it's a pull tie bracelet, which means you can uh, make it as small or large as you need. Maybe one day you'll win the giveaway. <laughs> It's kind of hard with the art that you do. Um, Morpid, thank you so much for your host, time. I missed that. Thank you so much. <laughs> you kind of do... To be free. It's kind of hard. At times with the kind of art I do to be free. Working with portraits and cosmic art. Or comic. Comic art. But it's free in painting with no idea and it, it, it's about to come out nice and under other artists enjoy painting freely. Yeah, I, I teach intuitive painting on my Patreon too. So uh, for people who have creative blocks, um, it's very helpful for them to kind of bust through that by being more uh, open to letting things kind of formulate themselves instead of holding uh, harsh expectations of what they need to become. So that's kind of what I do with my Patreon. And uh, we've learned a lot together because we kind of journal together through everything that we learn too. So we, uh, we learn a lot together from each other. But yeah, definitely intuitive painting is super free. This one's a little less on the full intuitive because uh, I did have a basic concept, um, but I'm not really uh, holding strictly to that too much. <laughs> More bit, it is nice. You're trying to change up who you're hosting. Ah, it's been fun to jump around and say hi to all the creatives getting back to work now, so you're gonna lurk. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Morbid. You're so sweet. Yeah, it is kind of hard to, uh... You know so many people, like, through streaming, and you meet so many awesome people, it is kind of hard to, uh... I guess part of you wants to, like, evenly distribute, you know what I mean? I think every, I think every streamer like goes through that. Like they're like, man, I've been uh, promoting this person for a long time, but there's this other really cool person that I really don't get a chance to. So then you, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I have such a calming aura. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very glad you stumbled on the channel today. Uh, -uh. I'm glad you stumbled on the channel too. Do you stream too? I'll have to. I'm gonna check out your info too. Oh, from Liverpool. Oh yeah, I'm giving you a follow. You don't have any uh any videos though. Maybe you haven't done it for a while. Oh, that's awesome. No, you have some stuff up. Cool. I'll have to check you out whenever you become live. I guess. <laughs> Very
very much like that. Yeah, morbid. Yeah, I totally understand. I totally get it. And there's some people I forget. I forget that they even, uh, that they even do things. You know what I mean? Like, I, for I just forget. It's just the way that goes. You want two runes? Three runes? Dino? Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna do some runes for Dino. <laughs> and then we'll continue. <laughs> hey, Rez. How's it, Luna? Hey, Rez. I'm doing good, dear. How are you? You only requested one? It showed me three. Hold on. Let me go to my redemptions. It showed me three. Did you push it three times? Do you know? Oh, it did once. I don't know why it showed up three times. All right, I'll do one. Are you ready? How are you doing, Rez? All right. We're gonna be adding more, uh, we're going to be adding more uh, mandalas to our painting too. I seem very positive today. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to kind of take that as maybe you need three. vibrant. I didn't do any meditation this morning. I can't even lie and like say, oh yeah, I meditated today. It helped me a lot. I can't say that today because I didn't, I didn't yet do it. So I don't know what it is. I slept really well and I woke up at like a really decent time too. I'm just really rested, like well rested, which I normally don't get a chance to do, I guess. Been rough for a bit lunar influence at least yeah yeah it's been like a couple at least a week maybe a little longer than a week but like sleeping has been like me waking up like once every other hour or every two hours <laughs> kind of weird dreams yeah yeah hey andrea Exactly. Very true. We're gonna focus on Dino here. Mini meditation. Okay. We want to draw the best string for Dino out of the bag. It's gonna relay the best message for them for today. During lockdown, you're sleeping about 14 hours a day. You have so much blood, beauty, sleep, you should look like a Disney princess by now. <laughs> Too much sleep is uh, ends up putting you in the other direction, like you're not doing as well, like you're in a deficit. <laughs> How are you feeling, Andrea? <clears throat> so it's uh, this room, it's not quite the V, but I think it's upside down or might partially be upside down. Let's look at the chart. Uh, 
uh, 8 a.m. this morning instead of 10. Yeah, I woke up at 9. I woke up at 9, a little bit before 9, and I usually wake up at like 10. So, I understand waking up at 10 o'clock. <laughs> I totally understand waking up at 10 o'clock. So it's not quite reversed. Because reverse would actually be facing this way. So this is the rune. It's the wood rune for energy positivity, lust repertoire, knowledge. But we'll go in the book, see what the book says. It's not quite uh, reversed. So we'll see what the book says. Is it Kanaz? No, it can't, it's not Kanaz. I'll, f I'll remember here in a second. I can never remember what the names of the runes are. Like ever. It is Kanaz. <laughs> I was right. It is Kanaz. So maybe you're in a transition period of Kanaz. I think I've drawn, drawn or drone, drawn, wow, English, Diana, English, uh, Kanazrun, I think for you before, but this one represents strength, energy, and power. It's a significator of vigorous good health and strong power, powers of recuperation. So again, this could be a transition period into this for you because it's just a little bit longer, kind of before the rune, a little bit longer before the rune kind of turns over. So, um, I feel like you're uh, moving to this phase next because of that. Uh, this is a protective sign indicating an upcoming respite from worries and a time while trials will be few and very manageable for you, which I think also kind of fits with what I was saying. You eat, sleep, go for walks, and then get excited when I see the mailman. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this rune can also herald a time of opening up, opening yourself up to the good things that are coming into your life. So I'm kind of, I kind of got a little hint of sometimes you are prone to uh, not really shutting things down or denying them, but not fully saying yes to something because you expect it to be like the same that it's always been so like maybe maybe like you have a f this is just an example but maybe you have like a family gathering and your family's like hey do you want to come do this on thursday and then you're like no i don't really want to because like it always these these same circumstances always happen every time i go to that family event so this is i'm kind of getting an idea of things are changing and maybe accept those kind of inv invitations in in the coming days or coming time because things are actually going to be changing in a way that you might not expect because uh, everybody's changing at this point in time right now so i kind of got the hint of maybe don't assume that things are going to be the same with some of those things and go in and just enjoy it and maybe be surprised by the good that comes out of it. Uh, this can indicate that now is a good time for you to start something new, perhaps even a new romantic relationship. Uh, Kanaz, in the case of romance, If you are 
a male and this rune is drawn in, re in relation to um, relationships or romance, um, you will probably be prone to giving gifts to people, like a romantic interest, you might be prone to giving gifts or have the urge to give some gifts. Kanaz is a rune of creativity and is such especially important to artists and craftsmen. It can signify an actual birth, um, or a birth of an idea, or something new that's creative. Uh, sometimes this can also be inspired by a romantic love. So I think this is a good sign for you. I think this is kind of saying, with the way that the rune is kind of tilted, you're not quite to the point of reprieve quite yet, but it is on the horizon. Uh, and it does look like that's something that's on its way to you. So hopefully that room was insightful for you. You're so proud of yourself. Yeah. Cool room. I'm glad you think so, Dina. I'm glad you think so, dear. We are going to have to hunt down, I think, our uh, other man mandalas. Hey, Sunflower, welcome in, dear. All four is very happy. Really turbulent dreams and sleep lately. Celestial Winds. Bliss. I think you can... I think you can get this one. No, maybe you can't. I think you might be able to get this one on Spotify. I can't remember that. David Young's Bliss. It's a Celtic harp. It looks like this. This is the cover. She's playing the harp. This is the one I found at the uh, secondhand shop. Oh, look, there's a whole list of other CDs I should probably pick up from them. Interesting. So David Young has quite a few CDs. There's more Celestial Winds. I need to pick up more stuff for them. this guy, David Young. You'll try and remember when you were deemed changed CD. Okay. Yeah, I really like this one. This one I got at a, a farmer's market. Some guy had it in, it was in a clearance bin. And I picked it up for like a couple dollars. And uh, it's been one of my favorites. <laughs> you must go and be productive. Hey, it's okay. Works. You gotta finish your own commission. Aww. 
will definitely come back and add on me on Instagram. That's so sweet, hon. I appreciate it. I'm gonna have to check out your stuff. Especially if you do uh, the intuitive art as well. I'm gonna have to come check it out. <laughs> Enjoy being productive. Do we want to listen to my musical massage? That is one thing I miss. I miss going out to the secondhand shops and uh, picking out CDs for us. We haven't got new music in a long time. We haven't got new music in like months. Welcome to the treehouse, dear. I am gonna come in and uh, put some brown in. Because we're gonna need a bit of brown to uh, make this look like an, a cliff. But I don't wanna make it too dark. So we will be moving the water around a bit. Leave it kind of light. You forgot to send me a CD? That's okay, Danger. <laughs> it's okay. It must have just not been time yet, maybe. I would listen to a didgeridoo, though. I would totally. I would totally listen to a didgeridoo. So much so. Yeah. I think this is the one we have to turn up a little bit louder. Because it gets so quiet. It's very relaxing. You think the guy who made it gave it to you in downtown Asheville? Really? Ooh. I would listen. Yeah, I like relaxing. Obviously. Welcome to the treehouse. I like relaxing music, so that's why we listen to relaxing music. <laughs> Old school promotion. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. I keep telling myself one day I'll find the, uh, the uh, native flutist, Native American flutist in like Iowa, I think it was. I'll find him one day and get his CD. Or maybe he still had. Maybe he still only does cassette tapes because originally it was a cassette tape. Maybe he only does cassette tapes now. That would still be awesome. I would still pay money to have his cassette tape because he did like nice, uh, like Native American chants while he was playing. Like I still remember all the words. The songs. <laughs> Still remember all the words. It was a buffalo, buffalo spirit. Isn't that, I think uh, it's a wonk, wonk Maybe is the buffalo spirit. <laughs> Doreen? Is that how you say that? Doreen? Welcome to the treehouse, dear. 
you just looked up Native American flutists and all their names are so cool. John Fire, Crow, Hawk, Little John. Yeah, all their names are pretty cool. Or, uh, what is this, Tree Cody? What was the other guy's name? Yeah, one of the guy's name is Tree Cody. cannot tell you what his name is. Uh, my family cannot tell you what his name is. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> hey Ian, welcome in dear. How are you? <laughs> hi hi. How you feeling? How you Kind of going in now and uh, pushing the color around just a bit, like for a splash. Because really, the uh, the water would be splashing right up near the uh, the edge of this uh, cliffside the water would be splashing, so I'm kind of just playing around on the edge there. But things will get darker as we go. The whole painting is still fairly light, so. But we're about ready to make this purple stand out a bit more. using a wet brush to go over our mandala here. We used a colored pencil, a watercolor, watercolor pencils really is what they are. And now we're just dissolving the uh, pigment onto the canvas, dissolving it with our water, our wet brush. So this is going to slowly start to stand out a little bit more, this purple mandala. And then we'll see if, um, <clears throat> we'll see if later we have to, uh, go back over with some pen, maybe watercolor pens, because I have some of those too. The watercolor pens are really handy for getting, uh, like super fine details. already kind of tell the difference a little bit. It's been very exciting to uh, start this painting and see uh, everything that, uh, all the ideas that I was able to pull up, and, uh, now we're kind of in execution mode today. Sitting and executing our piece as best as possible. forget that this one has the uh, interesting harp. This CD has an interesting harp to it as well. I think what we might do before I get too far along in this is uh, laying down some of our 
other one was. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out how those are going to lay, though. Because I have other mandalas with, like, the uh, chakras. I think it's actually over here. Yeah, I think it's this one. Maybe. I think so. Oh no, this is a different one. Um, I still think it's up here, though. Oh yeah, I got the Zodiac here. Zodiac stencil, you can barely see it. The only one that's kind of a odd shape that's not really circular is the uh, the one in the middle. You can barely see it in the right there. But I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that shape work in our favor. That's kind of what we've been working on today. And I use, I use uh, stencils for mandalas, honestly, because it's just, it's easier to use a stencil than it is to try and draw one out by hand. It's just faster. figure out uh, how else I want to I guess work on some of uh, I guess we always put secrets in our paintings oh hey Black Knights fan come in dear how are you <laughs> sorry I missed you my phone covers the uh, the last line of chat, so I, I'm a little bit behind on the chat because of that. Are you good? Uh -huh. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. The cat is back. So I'll put her cat cam back on. I zoomed out the cat cam so we can see her a little bit better. I'm trying to think about a good way to, uh, I guess, decorate the uh, chakra mandalas a little bit better. Maybe I will hand uh, paint the uh, chakra mandalas. Maybe I will do those. I'm not sure. I don't think I like how simplistic the uh, the shapes are with it. I think I would like it to be a bit darker or uh, a bit uh, a bit more uh, elaborate I guess like the shapes of those mandalas are a little bit too simplistic but I don't know it might be okay with simpler shapes or maybe I'll do oh or maybe I will do uh, the shapes over top of other mandala shapes, like put them on top of each other, like put a, a fancy mandala, fancy mandala, maybe I'll do like the same fancy mandala. Is this too big? 
like do one, two, three, four, five, six. This one might be too big though. This might be too big. And then lay the shape of the chakra over top. That might work best. Honestly, that might work best. I'll make them a little more uniform. Yeah, I think that might work best. I do think that might work best. Ring the chime. And the singing bowl. <laughs> Aw, you guys, I don't think you can hear the wind right now. But there's some wind in the CD. Kind of sounds like if you were on a cliffside and listening to the wind kind of blow by you. That's what it kind of sounds like. Ooh. Very nice. Kind of reminds me of uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, where you get to see the train going through the wall. Kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> Citizen Smith, welcome to the treehouse, dear. Welcome, welcome. I'm working on slowly painting this. Uh, this is actually the crown chakra that we're working on. We're putting the crown chakra in the middle of our painting here. And before I put a center emblem, I'm going to be really taking a look to see uh, what emblem we need to put in there, in that space. I always double check my work, you know, with a commission piece, always double check. time painting and it's got the wrong emblem in the middle. <laughs> that would be hilarious though. <laughs> I would laugh, but uh maybe they maybe they would they probably would, but still want to try to be accurate. And our cat is out like a light. Maybe we'll hear her snore here in a bit. Sometimes we get lucky and we can hear her snore. It's slowly showing up a bit more. I 
do feel like we're gonna get a lot done today because we uh, seems like Wednesdays we always get a lot accomplished so it's pretty exciting to see everything we're gonna get completed streams via host you'd probably never get to find otherwise sending blessings blessings and well wishes from the uk stay safe thank you so much yeah i think we definitely got a, a good host today we got a couple hosts which i think helps us quite a bit which is so kind that you stay safe as well. take naps. Some of us work on our own art. Some of us work on our own streams. I think I, I think my stream is definitely a uh, in the background kind of stream. <laughs> You know what I mean? I think it's definitely a background sort of stream. <laughs> hey, Psychic. How are you, dear? Welcome in. You like the picture so far? Thank you. It's gonna be uh, painting the crown chakra down on the canvas. How are you doing? Dragon, thank you so much for your follow. Welcome to the treehouse, dear. Oh, are you taking the day off? Psychic I am. Ooh. Taking the day off. Hey, you know, that's okay. I think you're one that goes, goes, goes quite a bit. Psychic, so that might be actually exactly what you need. I think you always are on the go. Hey dragon, wonderful work. Thank you so much. We just uh we just started dragon, so it's a it's really light right now, but we have uh, a nice kind of light rainbow sky, a waterscape, and we're working on putting in our uh, grassy grassy cliff sides. The cliff sides are um, the the mo moher cliffs. You guys know those cliffs the Moher Cliffs is kind of the inspiration I took this from. Are you learning how to learning how to edit the video? Yes, you do. Go, go, go. <laughs> I know you do. Psychic. I know you go, go, go. I know. I have to learn how to edit video, too. I have to learn how to edit video too. I do. The 54 says, get that clipped. Get what clipped? The Moher Clips. That this is. took inspiration from the Moher Clips. I'm sure probably most of you know. At least most of you, or some of you know what that is. Those clips are. This is a commission painting, and uh, so what I do is I meditate for a while, 
and I kind of like tell the universe like hey give me some inspiration you know for this painting that the person who commissioned this art piece would really enjoy and I kind of just wait to see what comes in and uh, the word cliff kind of came to me and I was like oh interesting but I really didn't get what kind of cliff so I went to Google images and I just started looking at a bunch of pictures of cliffs little cliff sides and uh, I must have flipped through like 20 pages of just pictures of cliffs because I was trying to get a good idea of what kind of feeling I wanted to invoke and uh, I noticed that all of the pictures I had saved like in my little idea portfolio thing all of the pictures were of the mower mower cliffs is it mower i'm pretty sure it's mower i've never actually been there um but i found it interesting so i told the uh, person that this is commissioned for about the cliffs and uh, i shared pictures with them and I thought it was interesting how uh, the cliffs mean a uh, ruined fortress. Hey, <laughs> Sadati, welcome to the treehouse, dear. You've been there before, handsome Greg. Aw, I would love to go. I would love to go. It was very, it was powerful and serene, like at the same time powerful and serene at the same time. So I thought I thought it would be perfect. But uh, it means a ruined fortress, I think, from what I looked up. <laughs> get the get that clipped. <laughs> 54. <laughs> what if they wanted Cliff Richard? But they didn't tell me that that's what they wanted. I guess if they wanted Cliff Richard, I would probably attempt to meet them where they're at. <laughs> How are you doing today, Zati? But, uh, so that's where this is kind of coming from. It doesn't look exactly like it because I'm playing with composition a little bit more but uh, the idea definitely came from those cliffs I feel like I should look up what Cliff Richard hold on let's look this up on Google <laughs> what is Cliff Richard a Cliff Richard attempt Somebody wanted me to paint uh, the other day. We're gonna have to be faster at painting, guys. You guys are giving me way too many ideas. I'm gonna either have to start streaming more or uh, painting off stream. <laughs> Cliff Richard. portrait before. I've done portraits before. I used to do portraits before I did my intuitive painting. What a jawline. What a jawline. <laughs> I could hand, probably handle that. I could probably handle Cliff Richard. Hey Fairlight, welcome in dear. How are you? <laughs> He's a very distinct looking fellow. Yeah, Greg, he is. He's very distinct. 
but I don't think it's in a bad way. Definitely don't think it's in a bad way. Where did my brush go? My tiny little brush. I just had it in my hand. And now it's gone. that's not like tilted <laughs> sometimes I do want to paint on a canvas that's not tilted over so we're working on uh, basically reshaping the whole treehouse which is going to be interesting like reconfiguring everything. So we're gonna have to find a, the whole room's gonna basically be reset up, I think. But it'll be nice to paint on a, have an option to paint on a desk, on the desktop. Cause then I can, uh, like my pool watercolor, like I can pool watercolor easily, more easily when it's not it's like tilted where the water can just like run all the way down because that is one of the downfalls like I can't pull water the same way as like some other watercolor people because it's just gonna drip all the way down and off the canvas Which happens. <laughs> but it's always interesting to see. Uh, what kinds of inspiration kind of come to me with these art pieces. Because like this person kind of gave me a, uh, a theme of enlightenment. And, uh, didn't really, uh, specify much other than that. left open for lots of possibilities. I do think we're going to have a, a figure in this painting as well. So I think this figure is actually going to uh, either stand over the edge, like looking into the center of the painting or maybe like starting to take a leap off the cliff side. I haven't quite decided. 
um, which one we're going to do yet. This painting is feeling very, uh, light. It's feeling very light. But it will feel light for a while until we feel, until we get further along in the process. Like the paintings always start out kind of light. He twisted. Welcome in, dear. <laughs> You're so silly. What's the vampire's favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Mm. That does sound pretty good. My favorite is peanut butter and chocolate. I like peanut butter and chocolate. I also really like vanilla. I also really like vanilla. But I do uh, like soy or almond milk ice creams. to jump off a cliff. This is beautiful. You die happy if I jump off a cliff that's this beautiful. I got you, okay. <laughs> Aw. It's gonna be even more beautiful. We just started. when you're enjoying uh, where you're at, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Doreen. <laughs> Which I think is step one. You know what I mean? If we think of it as... Uh, we're getting real deep now, if you think of it as uh, steps to enlightenment. Step one, play the fool and just have fun and be yourself and uh, be without worry. Anyone else 
agree with that? That makes sense to me. Google knows that I have, uh, I guess, a lot of uh, interest in Celtic things. Because <laughs> I can't imagine, of all the clips, it would show uh, that clip. I guess the internet makes uh, synchronicity is pretty uh, easy though, <laughs> especially with Google. of doing it. Absolutely, I would agree. It's been a process of getting to that. Aw, hey David. Hey David. That's really brave of me to do. Yeah, we don't usually have a, a game plan with our paintings. Sometimes I have a little bit of an idea, but I don't hold it to a strict standard. You know, I don't say, well, the painting has to go in this direction, you know, just because it started with that idea. Which makes it really fun because then things like, uh, you know, painting secrets and things like that come about. And then it just gets even more fun because we never know what's going to happen. This is a new painting, David. We started this one yesterday. We've already gotten this far in. We're getting a lot faster, that's for sure. But this model is gonna slow us down because it's so big. And it's so intricate, so the mandala is definitely gonna slow us down a bit today. been on Twitch before. I had never even really, I had never even watched anyone on Twitch before. I had no clue. Like, I didn't know Twitch etiquette. I didn't know, uh, I didn't know anything about Twitch. 
when I started streaming. So, uh, I was kind of like, yeah, let's just start streaming. Aw, <laughs> uh, David, thank you so much for your bits, sweetie. Thank you so much. I appreciate you very much, dear. Yeah, I was kind of like, let's just start streaming and see what happens. And, uh, if you watch the super old streams on YouTube, uh, find some, some of our struggle days. Was, the camera was, like, attached to, like, my bookcase over my head. So, like, you guys were, like, basically over my shoulder, like all the way up here, like looking down. <laughs> it was funny, but it was also really fun. And I didn't understand how sound through microphones really worked either, because that was when we were streaming in the same room as my boyfriend at the time. So you guys would like, it'd be me being really calm and chill, talking about my day and like life lessons I've learned and you know, me just basically talking to myself. And uh it would be a want listening to me. And then all of a sudden my boyfriend, you'd hear his game in the background, like being all like aggressive. So it was like two mixed energies together. It was kind of funny actually. It's like me being all chill and like the characters in his game are like screaming and hollering and carrying on. It's like, yeah, this isn't gonna work. Doreen, how did I discover Twitch? Uh, it was actually my boyfriend. My boyfriend had just started watching his YouTube people that he would usually would watch, I guess, on Twitch. And, uh, I had spent time painting outside, which I still want to go back and do, so I'd like to figure out a way for us to take the treehouse outside for a bit. That would be nice, because I really enjoy painting outside in the sunshine. Um, so that's to do when it gets nice out. But I was painting outside and all the neighbors, the neighbor kids and the neighbors would stop and say hi to me and, you know, while they were, because I was in the front yard, so they would like walk by and notice that I was painting, so they'd stop and just come say hi. And it's kind of how I got to meet a lot of my neighbors is because I was painting outside in my yard. A lot of them would talk to me and ask me, you know, how I got started with painting and things like that. And one of the neighbor kids actually came over and, gosh, he spent like four hours with me, like watching me paint. And we had just had a chat. And uh, he enjoyed it. He enjoyed it because I was talking to him. And asking him about school and what he wanted to do when he grew up and all these things and which he enjoyed just having someone listen to him I think and then I asked uh, and then he started asking if he could help me with my painting you know because he was watching me paint and he was like I have an idea and so instead of saying no I kind of already have a game plan for this painting. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do another painting next time. Instead of saying that, I said, yeah, sure, let's do it. So uh, he had a lot of fun uh, kind of choosing and helping me uh, choose where the painting was going. So I told my boyfriend about it. And uh, he was like, you know what? You should maybe paint on Twitch and uh, 
see what happens. See what happens. I think people would enjoy like listening to you and just watching you kind of do your thing. And I was at first I was like, mm, I don't really know. I'm not really. I don't really like technology. <laughs> So I discovered Twitch through my boyfriend, Doreen. <laughs> um, I was kind of like, I don't know if I really want to. I don't really like technology. I'm kind of somebody who wants to live off-grid, if I can help it. I feel like being on Twitch would put me in the grid. I don't want to be in the grid, man. I don't want to be in the grid. So uh, I kind of, I thought about it. For a while, I immediately kind of turned it down and was like, no, I don't think so. But uh, he kind of kept talking to me about it, and uh, the more he talked to me about it, the better, the better it sounded. And I thought, you know what? Why not? Just give it a shot. I don't have to stick to it. You know what I mean? It'd be something different I'd never done before. And uh, you never know. It could turn out. It could turn out to be really fun. So thus, I started uh, streaming almost a year ago. May 11th is going to be a year. How many paintings did I paint in total? Hey, Ixar, welcome in, dear. How are you, one? How many paintings did I paint in total? I don't know, David. <laughs> a lot. So much that the treehouse is covered in paintings. Um, I still have wall space though, so we're good. I still have wall space in the house. Because a lot of my commissions, I don't get to keep. They actually go to other people, so there are a lot of paintings I've made that I don't have with me anymore. I can't even tell you how many paintings I've made. A lot. A lot. But you guys have like, saw me uh, birth art my passion for art back into my life. If you've been watching from the beginning, if you've watched me kind of like birth my art back into my life. And how I, and how that process worked for me. So. And then when I grew my Patreon, I was, you know, I decided that Patreon was going to be me kind of teaching how I do what I do, and uh, helping people also accept their creative selves by being more relaxed as they're creating. Because as soon as you judge what you're doing, you kill it. As soon as you judge what you do, you end up, uh, that's how you squash your dream. Because you judge on whether or not it's a good enough dream. And then you, yeah, you kill it. You squish it with your bare hands. <laughs> hope you're all having a spectacular day. I hope you're having a spectacular day, XR. Dino says there are evil, pe evil people writing The Last of Us. Two spoilers in stream chats. The game got leaked. Oh no. Unplug, guys. Unplug if you don't want to know. Spoilers for The Last of Us 2. You gotta just unplug, man. Get off the grid, man. <sighs> Doreen says, well, your boyfriend was right. People do like to watch you, and I can tell you like streaming. I do, you know. It's nice. I've met a lot of awesome people. I've met a lot of awesome people that I... That if I, uh stick to my little corner of the world uh, I wouldn't have got I wouldn't have got a chance to meet so hey Master Fred welcome back to I'm doing good today a quick hide inside the treehouse yeah there's no spoilers here At least not about games. There's a lot about games I don't know about. The 
this is a lovely commission piece, Daniel. Thank you so much. Yeah, this one's gonna be, and we just started, so the contrast is gonna come up a bit. Uh, Ixar, thank you so much for the host, hon. Thank you, thank you. Mm -mm. Oh, the game's gonna be released in two months. You'll probably play it in 2021. You like to wait a while? I like to wait a while, too. I'll wait years and years and years and years and years. Before I play a game. Like I played The Witcher 3 a year ago, maybe? Oh, or a little bit over a year. Maybe like two years ago was the first time I played Witcher 3. I, I lose track of time, guys. Don't ask me what time it is. Or how old I am. Or uh, when I did something. I I'm not very good with time. You're in a quite a bit of pain today. Mm. We can light more incense for healing for you, XR. Because we did some for uh, Police Scout. We have to switch our music anyway. Our, uh, what was it? Musical Massage. It's finished. Yeah, we've been up for a minute. We started at, yeah, musical massage. We started at noon, my time today. We started at noon. And we'll go till about, uh, we usually go until about four or five. We might go until six o'clock today though. We might go a little bit later today. Boyfriend has, uh, he works later. So we might actually be live for like a while. I kind of feeling sacred drums. I keep looking at uh, the musicians' names. Oh, interesting. So they're all dolphin sounds. So in this CD, there's nature sounds, which include the wolf, the eagle, the coyote, and the dolphin. Interesting. Let's see if we can hear the dolphin when we hit play. But sacred earth drums. So we're gonna listen to some native drums. Which should be nice. But it's David and Steve Gordon. Look. The drum is made of planet Earth. If that's not Native American, I don't know what is. It's, it's from Sequoia Records. It's very cute. It says drums from around the world. Join in with Native American flute, Incan pan pipes, a spirit rattle, which I think a spirit rattle I call a uh, rain stick. The sticks with the rice that like you turn and it like, yeah, it like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Spirit, spirit rattle is another name for it. I would like to get one of those. Would you guys like to listen to a spirit rattle? that be a redemption? That might be kind of nice. Hey, Rye. Welcome in. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm wearing a beanie similar to you. I have the little poof. I've worn this one for a while. Anyway, spirit rattle, guitars, keyboard, and nature, such as the wolf, eagle, coyote, and dolphin. So that's what we're gonna listen to. You shine, yours is just woolly and red. Nice. Nice. Oh, 
your hair is getting so long. You just stick a hat on it until everything returns to normal. I was wearing hats and beanies before it was cool. Let me just... I'm teasing. No, I've been trying to grow out my bangs for a long time. And they still aren't growing very fast. I've had the side sweat bangs ever since like middle school. Which I'm like 32 today. I'm 32 now. So I've had short bangs, short side sweat bangs for a very long time. And now my hair is like, wait, you don't want to have bangs anymore? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm going to look up how much a rain stick is. I think it'd be nice to have one. A plain painting of planet Earth can be special. Yeah. Yeah, some of my first watercolors. Which I've showed, I've showed off old artwork on stream before. Um, but uh, some of my original art pieces, watercolors, were galaxy paintings. And they were of planet Earth. That was back in 2010. I was watching a lot of... science documentaries at that time. Oh, it's not my birthday to do today though, right? <laughs> it's not my birthday. I am 32 years old today though. My birthday's in November. So we have a while before I turn 33. <laughs> Your hair's in as long as mine though. Mm. You would have to, my hair is super long, my gosh. It's like down to my bum. It's down to my bum, my hair is down to my bum. I got a lot of hair. You, you thought I said it was, no. It's okay though. Probably because I was trying to think really hard of how old I was, was really probably why it seemed like maybe it was today. <laughs> Daniel's like, normal? What's normal? What does even normal mean, guys? Exactly. Am I always this chill? Like, even when I'm not streaming? Yeah.
part it. <laughs> and it's not on the back of your neck, but it kind of still is. And if yours is barely enough to hit the back of your neck, you're not going to be able to part it very well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone in your life is a neurotic stress ball, so it's weird thinking there are more people like you out there in IRL that I haven't met yet. I get that. I get that. I think it's about finding your own peace. You know? I was in a family who thought, uh, quality time was like sitting down and watching a movie and that's just uh, even though that's how my family thought quality time worked like I didn't that really wasn't my thing I didn't find that to be a quality uh, use of time so I think sometimes our family we can feel quite different from our family, but sometimes in order to heal our uh, relationship with our family, we have to understand and focus on uh, what we do appreciate and what we do have in common. stress to random ride. I'm glad that I can offer that. Like some type of peace. You know what I mean? Like I'm just glad. Like if I can do anything, at least it would be that, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you fall asleep, right? I know. I know a lot of you fall asleep. It's okay. It's okay. I don't worry about it. Obviously, talk to myself and be uh, entertaining enough on my own. <laughs> but it is nice to have people to talk to. But I totally get most of you uh, drifting off to sleep. Hence why I started using the, uh, the ASMR tag. Because everyone's like, oops, sorry, I fell asleep. And I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be having a conversation and all of a sudden you guys go quiet and you like hop back and chat a few hours later and you're like, oh, I fell asleep. It's like, it's okay. I started just using the ASMR tag. <laughs> Which you might switch to during the day. and the voice is so relaxing, so take it as a compliment. Yeah. 65 people are probably sleeping right now. Probably, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. They can uh, take in some nice healing. Mm. All I have to do is sleep and be healed and feel better. Hey, Paige, Sharon's. Welcome in, dear. How are you? Doreen's like, I'm not asleep yet. Sort of. I'm not quite asleep yet. <laughs> hey, Walter Brando, welcome back. Three months, on Three months. Wow. Thank you so much for eating the 
Jim and showing support. I appreciate you very much, dear. Hopefully you're feeling good. And welcome back to the treehouse. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I'm so peaceful, Paige. Aww. You basically scream while you stream. I, I hear that a lot, Paige. <laughs> yeah, I don't really... The cat is the one that makes the most noise. The cat, she's the one that makes the most noise. She knocks stuff over, and that's like the loudest we get. And we just like laugh about it because it's so hilarious. Blaze, that's one big treehouse. I know we got a lot of people in the treehouse today. <laughs> We're all like packed like sardines. <laughs> You're not sleeping, you're relaxing. Relaxing with the music, David. Mm -mm. And watching Luna paint, yeah. It is relaxing. I always tell people if you're not sleepy, you can totally watch the stream like while you uh, do your thing. You know? Like if you're not sleepy, it's okay. Like, work on your video editing or work on your uh, script writing, or work on your own painting, or uh, work on your YouTube video, or, you know, do your card readings, or whatever, or do crochet, you know, whatever you gotta work on. You can just have me on in the background while you're doing your thing, I definitely don't mind. Use my stream time to dedicate some time to yourself. Give yourself an uh, opportunity to work on things that you want to work on. Because I'll be here regardless. <laughs> but it is nice to have everybody here. <laughs> yeah, Walter. Thank you so much, dear. Hey, paranoid. Paranoid, paranoidy boy. Welcome to the treehouse, huh? <laughs> you know, a peaceful person with your cat makes more noise than you. Yeah. She's very chatty. You guys hear her chat a little bit on stream, but... Off stream? She chats, she'll talk to me like all day long. She just constantly talks to me. She's a very chatty cat, but she's out like a light right now. She's gone. You can't even, you can't even tell what she is. She's just a big ball of dark brown fur. <laughs> hey, paranoid. Paranoid boy, how are you doing today, dear? Thank you so much for your follow. Welcome to the treehouse, hon. Are you pretty fine? Mm. Yeah, that's okay. You're liking the stream so far? Oh, you're loving the stream so far. I'm glad you do. I'm glad you do. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We have a... Uh... A lot of progress we've made. I've kind of been slowly building up our mandala. It's still looking pretty light, um, but I'm gonna build color depth as we go. But we have a nice rainbow background, rainbow kind of sky background, and we'll define our cliffs a little bit better. We're still in the very beginning stages of uh, our painting. Mm, excuse me. Oh, 
<laughs> you told paranoid boy about me. It's okay, we'll chill you out, it's okay. He needs some peaceful moments, as you can tell by his nickname. I did kind of gather that, yeah. You get top bunk blades. Mm -hmm. I like the top bunk though. Maybe we'll have, maybe the treehouse will have bunk beds that only have top bunks. That sounds like a win. You guys want to hear a story? I have a story about bunk beds. That's quite funny. So when I was in uh, high school, it's story time now. It's story time. So I was in, when I was in high school, which was a while ago, guys, which was a while ago, I'm old. I'm 32 years old. So high school was a long time ago. But when I was in high school, exchange student lived with us for a year and she was from Japan the sweetest the sweetest person so funny such good humor um, really great really great uh, really great uh, person but she uh, had never slept in a bunk bed before which was what uh, I had in my room. She was closest to my age, so my parents were like, okay, well, she's gonna stay with you in your room then, Diana, because, uh, you know, you guys are just closest in age, and I think that'll be a good thing. So uh, I got a bunk bed moved to my room so that uh, my foreign exchange student had somewhere to sleep. 32 is an old, what is old? Okay, okay. I'm older than I appear. That's really what I should say. Um, so I have this bunk bed. And she comes over, and you know, the initial question is, well, do you want to sleep on the top or do you want to sleep on the bottom? She was like so excited about this bunk bed. She was like, wow, this is so cool. I've never slept on one before. I'm really excited about this. This is gonna be so much fun. And so she's like, I wanna sleep on the top bunk. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I get that. You can sleep on the top bunk. And uh, so she, we go to sleep that night. We go to sleep that night. wake up in the middle of the night to a thud to a thud because she had uh, she had actually rolled and fell out off the top of the bed yeah she fell out please yeah I was, I was so concerned for her I like sat up in bed and I was like oh my gosh are you okay are you hurt like do you need help like are you okay and she just she just like I think she was so tired, she didn't even, she didn't even, like, she didn't laugh or anything. She didn't, like, say ouch. She didn't even say oof. She didn't say anything. She, she just, I felt, I think I heard the wind get knocked out of her mouth. <laughs> but she just said, yeah, I'm fine. And I was like, are you sure you're going to be okay sleeping on the top bunk? Because I can totally let you, uh, I can totally let you sleep, uh, on the bottom if you need to. <laughs> and she was like, no, 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 I'm not good, I'm good. And uh, she went right back to sleep. I don't even think, she, so like, I was thinking like that night, I don't even know if she realized that she fell out of the bed because she just seemed really out of it still. So I, I asked her about it in the morning. I was like, how do you feel? How did you sleep? Do you remember falling out of the bed in the morning? Or in the middle of the night last night, and she was like, Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was like, I was, 
I was embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed. I was worried that you were hurt. <laughs> but, uh, so it was pretty funny. But she only, I think she only did that twice, and then she was good. Like, she, I don't think she did it again after that. But yeah, bunk beds, man. They can be, if you're not used to, uh, falling out. I wonder if she, I, I wanted to ask her if she had a dream about falling. I think she said no. <laughs> you know, everyone has those most common dreams. Dream about falling is like pretty common. <laughs> Sleeping on the bunk, top bunk is living life on the edge, please. It kind of does feel that way, doesn't it? Yeah. But she also liked uh, sleeping on the hammock outside. We had bonfires a lot at my house when in high school. And uh, I specifically reminding like telling I specifically remember telling her hey I think you're really gonna enjoy uh, my favorite one of my favorite things is uh, napping on a hammock while the the fire is going like the bonfire is going so you should try it so she did and uh, we almost left her outside all night because she was asleep we didn't want to wake her up but I stayed outside most of the night with her we stayed up really late because my stepdad and I would, uh, anytime we started a bonfire, we would be the last two outside, and we'd stay there and watch the fire burn until, like, it was dead, so we'd stay out there for a long time. Hey, Alex Shockwave, welcome in, dear. How are you? How are you? Thank you for your host, huh? Ah, uh, Feeny, did you? You always had those falling dreams when you were actually falling out of your bed. Wow, and Feeny, that's interesting. That's interesting. Hey, Meta Lunar. How are you, sweetie? Welcome in, welcome in. Ah, uh, you're good, but you can't stay. You gotta go to work. See ya. Thank you, Alex. Have fun at work, dear. Thank you so much for your host. Yeah, we'd stay out forever, like hours and hours and hours. And we'd talk about whatever. But we'd always be the last two out there. Everyone else would be like, I'm going to sleep. I think we stayed out. I want I want to say, I think one night we stayed out until like two o'clock in the morning. Like me and my boyfriend. Lesson learned, don't stay at Diana. She'll cause you to fall out of the top bunk. <laughs> and leave you outside. I won't leave you outside. I did go in to, I think for a minute, to grab some drinks and then I went back out. <laughs> she was enjoying the hammock a lot. Hey, Purple Moon. Welcome in, dear. How are you? It was nice, though. I think she enjoyed. She enjoyed our family and staying with us because we had a. I remember before uh, our foreign exchange student came from Japan, my parents were like, "Okay, here's the ground rules, guys. No sarcastic humor." because she might not understand. Like we were, <laughs> this was my parents who were like, we don't want to offend, we don't want to offend her, you know, was kind of their idea. So they're like, we have to be on our best behavior. Um, but it was really funny because I think, I think her dad, we actually ended up meeting her dad later 
at her wedding because we went to her wedding and we met her family and her dad is a has a very over the top kind of playful sarcastic humor so he when we met him we were like oh, okay we understand how you understood us so well because our humor was very much like her dad's humor so uh, the us not making jokes didn't last very long but we were told that we shouldn't be making jokes because we might accidentally offend her and she might not understand <laughs> but she totally got it are you good purple moon I'm glad you're good too I'm glad you're good making lots of progress today our uh, module has slowed us up because we are I'm basically dissolving you can tell the difference if I bring it a little bit closer but we're basically dissolving the water so here's the dissolved water and then the pencil you can see a little bit of the difference so I'm just kind of dissolving the watercolor pencil right now to make it look like a painted instead of a pencil excuse me yeah I think humor is important for sure yeah you do make jokes about everything I think it's good to do I think it's good to be uh, it's kind of like the fool the fool back to the fool energy it's kind of just like enjoying whatever brings you enjoyment like genuine enjoyment and I think understanding the humor in things is definitely uh, a way to bring light to things make things a little softer like make the heavy things a bit softer and everyone feels better when they laugh right everyone feels better when they laugh so I agree Austrian movies are very 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 dark things you would never see or hear in American movies I think I've seen an Austrian film before and I was like shocked I think it was when I was in college I went to, uh, what was it even? It was about a little girl vampire. I think it was a movie that was a set theme for like a more, uh, like an Americanized movie and story. I think it was the original somehow. I can't remember what it was called within something within somebody probably knows what I'm talking about I don't remember what the name of it is but uh, that movie was shocking I had no idea what I was getting into it was shocking it was I was shocked I don't even think I finished the movie but I was watching it in college because me and my friend would spend Fridays uh, watching foreign films either foreign films or uh, documentaries that was our Friday night thing and I think we picked this one up because it was foreign and we picked it up at the library at the college because I went to Ball State University so we picked it up at the library at Ball State University and uh, wow yeah I was completely floored like we both could not believe it I don't think we finished the movie though something about a, a little girl who's a vampire I keep thinking if I say say it, I'll remember what it's called but I don't remember I don't remember like it's not gonna be to me but I also watched what was the other one We've also watched uh, The Last Emperor. The La 
last emperor of Japan. But the movie was called The Last Emperor. And we watched that one. It was a retelling of the life of the last emperor of Japan, basically, was the movie. And that one was very long. I think we watched that. We started watching that one at like midnight, I think. And we got slapped. We got、uh, tired, silly. We got so tired that we ended up being ridiculously silly. You know what I'm talking about. And、uh, we were watching this movie. And it was so boring. And we were so tired. And we were in like that silly mode that we were like, okay, the movie must be over soon. And、uh, every time we thought the movie was going to be over, it ended up not being finished. And it would like, because the movie would like slow down and like kind of have this feeling like it was wrapping itself up. And so we'd be like, okay. And the sigh of like relief would come over you because you've been like tortured to watch this movie for like hours already. And you're like, okay, we finally made it. We, we can say that we've watched the movie. It was kind of what we, the, the achievement we were waiting for. And、uh, we didn't. We didn't finish the movie. It ended up be, being like, I think, four o'clock in the morning. And、uh, it was like the third time. That we thought the movie was gonna start wrapping up. And we, I think we rage quit. We were like, that's it, we quit. We quit this movie. We never finished it. It was like four o'clock in the morning. And we had class at like eight o'clock. I had an art class at eight o'clock in the morning. Because I went to Ball State for、uh, art education. I was very tired for that class. <laughs> it, was, it was interesting for a while, but then you watched it for, I think it was like a four hour long movie. The first two hours, the first hour was really interesting, and then we're like, okay, it should start wrapping up now. Because it, it's been pretty slow paced, like for the entire hour. It should either start picking up or it's time for it to wrap up because of the pacing. It just stayed extremely slow paced the entire time, and so we were extremely bored. And we were like, okay, well, maybe it's gotta be ending soon then, was what we just kept telling ourselves. And it just kept going and going and going and going. Let the right one in. I think that's, that must be, that must be it, you know? Yeah, maybe it's not Austrian, maybe it was Swedish. Let the right one in. I, that sounds correct. I could not finish that one. I could not finish that movie. I could not finish that movie. Nor could I finish The Last Emperor of Japan. But for very different reasons. Very different reasons. Sounds like a great movie recommendation.、Mm-hmm. We might have survived if it wasn't like, if we weren't so tired. We might have survived and finished it, but we didn't. But we always like to see uh, interesting uh, foreign films because they were the ones at the library that. uh, Because the library, Ball State would let you rent um, for so many days for free. At the library, but if you went over the time slot, then that was when you had to pay. So we often found that we could、um, get a lot of movies rented for free. But the ones that were less popular were like the foreign films, so we could always manage to find a foreign film to. to、uh, Rent. Plus, we were just interested in it. Yeah, that movie was messed up. Yeah, Dina. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Yeah, because we had to have subtitles. If you wanted to check it out on the weekend, especially, you were competing with like so many other thousands of people. So chances are you wouldn't, uh, if you got the uh, popular movie, you know, you got really lucky to get the movie. But I was never super interested in like real popular movies anyway. also rent some video games, but I'm, I'm not sure if that was the case or if I went somewhere else. I know you could definitely rent movies. And you could also rent, um, sometimes you could rent the textbooks. Which was helpful. Save some money. <laughs> if I could rent the textbook for a while. They wouldn't let you keep it for like super, super long. I remember switching which one of my friends and I were checking out the book for the class. We just rotate who was checking it out. the outside circle, which means I'm going to do the inner circle here shortly. <laughs> you think so, Dino? Is that how Americans miss some great movies? Here in Europe, we love a Nordic crime movies, or Spanish horror movies. French love movies, Korean drama movies, etc. While American movie business is focused on itself. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. It's also easier for us to watch those movies since we can speak two to four languages. Yeah. I can see that, you know, I can see that. Like, I still watched foreign films just watch them with uh, subtitles, which it doesn't bother me at all to do that, like not even a little bit. I don't get bothered by that at all, watching with subtitles. Yeah, I know a little bit 
bit of German. I don't know any Swedish. Maybe a tiny bit? Maybe if, because uh, German and uh, Swedish, I think, share some words that are kind of similar. So I might pick up on some of it, just because of, for that reason. But I know a bit of German. bit of Japanese. I know more German than I know Japanese. But I've always liked language. German movies are horrible. <laughs> music videos with lots of product placements. Do they really? I've never seen a German film, so I couldn't tell you. It kind of feels like American movies. Ouch. I don't really care for... It takes a lot for me to like a movie. It takes a lot for me to like a movie. For the most part, you can guess that I probably won't like it. Because I'm really picky. I like, I don't think movies, at least movies that I've been exposed to, like American movies, I don't think they have enough character development for me to really care. And I don't think the story is like enriching enough or like deep enough for me to also care. They just feel kind of like basic and flat, like American movies do. So I don't. Most of the time, I don't care for them at all. So you guys, you guys will make movie references, and I'm like, dude, I've never seen that, and I'm really kind of not interested in seeing it. dragged you to see Parasite. I don't even know what Parasite is. Was it awful? I'm sure that just because of the way that you made that statement, it was awful and you regretted it very much. When you see a German movie, you run, do you know? <laughs> That's okay. When I see any movie, Usually, the first thing that comes to mind is, yeah, I'm not gonna like that. <laughs> hey, Fitzadelic, welcome to the treehouse, huh? It won a bunch of awards, I think. It was made in Korea, and it had subtitles, did it? The concept was interesting, the movie just dragged on way too long, in your opinion. It was called Parasite. I've never heard of it. Did it drag on for four hours like uh, the last emperor of Japan? Did it drag on for like four hours? I could have sworn that movie's four hours long. I could swore. <laughs> hey Taigo. <laughs> Welcome in, hun. How are you feeling? Hi, hi. Good to see you. 
Welcome back. Did the angle of the camera change? I took out my welcome loop and I kind of did change the angle just a tiny bit. Our kitty is, she's hiding, you can't see her as well. Hey kitty. She's hiding behind the plant. Oh no, she's still hiding, now she's only got one eye. Now she's only got one eye. On accident. She's peeking around the corner now. But yeah, I did change it a tiny bit. Good eye, good eye. But I did change our, I took our welcome loop away. Cause it was a little too busy. It's a little too busy. So I thought uh, taking that part away would make the stream look less busy for the eyeballs. sitting kind of ready for her to show up again. Hey shrink. How did I make the thing in the middle symmetrical? I have a I have a, a stencil. I could hand paint mandalas, but it would take it would take so long and it's just easier to uh, stencil it in. faster. Same, same, uh, same, uh, outcome, but just quicker. Yeah. I don't stencil anything else except for the mandalas. Everything else is, uh, painted, hand painted. How often do I listen to music when I'm now streaming? All the time. All the time. All the time. Unless I'm watching now. Uh, unless I'm watching like YouTube. Then I usually don't have it on in the background. But usually music is always playing. They don't have enough, uh, they don't really have a 
music that I like listen to a lot and sing a lot. But that's okay. I wouldn't expect them to have all of it. Some of my favorites. I really like Priscilla On. If anyone knows who Priscilla On is, I really like her a lot. She's probably one of my favorites. I also like Lights. Lights is a uh, Canadian artist who also does art and makes comics. Or has made a comic. I don't know if she's continuing to do that, but she did make some comics. So I like them. I like Jewel. changes how you feel. So lately you've been preferring silence. You could use uh, music to your advantage though, in that respect. Like if you're feeling a bit down, like play music that lifts you up, you can use that to your advantage. else's words like traveling through the airwaves it's so hard <laughs> I don't know how other people do it I don't know how other people do it <laughs> maybe I'm just too much like too much in the moment I don't know I struggle if a song has words brings me into that space instead of where I'm at, basically. Hey, Rad. Good morning. You just woke up. Did you really? And you haven't had breakfast yet. Have you been struggling, Rad, with sleep also? 
We've been having broken sleep. We were just talking about this earlier. About like, how I've been having broken sleep, like waking up every couple of hours or so lately. <gasps> Cosmic Bee Creations? Welcome to the treehouse. I like your name, Cosmic Bee. Welcome, welcome, I'm glad to have you. <laughs> you can't believe your cat's on your bed right now, Gust of Wind. How did it come to this? He has a place and he's using. He's using your place instead. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think animals know when we need some healing and some emotional uh, aid. They know. And sometimes they just need it too. So they just come over because they just want to feed off your vibe too. You're welcome, Cosmic Bee. Welcome to the treehouse. Hopefully you're doing good today. Ever seen a cat or dog get jealous? It's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. My cat gets jealous all the time. If, uh, if Paintbrush and I, my boyfriend, are, like, being extra cute to each other, like, we'll, we, like, talk to each other and, like, I don't know how to cutesy voices, basically, because they're being silly. She knows. She knows. The cat does. And she will, uh, if it goes on for too long, wherever she's at in the house, she will come up to us and, uh, start asking for attention. So, my boyfriend and I, we can't be cutesy with each other, each other for too long, because the cat will get jealous, and she'll She'll come say something to us, like, I need attention too. She gets very jealous. <laughs> we kind of make a joke about it. And sometimes we talk even more outrageous to each other just to get her to meow more. Quarantine has made you lazy. I think you just out of loop, Brad. Just out of loop. Just gotta find a different loop. You just get used to doing the same thing all the time, you know? This kind of like shakes things up, shakes things up a little bit. Now you gotta find uh, a new loop, which can take time. It can take time to do that. What do I think about the idea of not trying to change one's emotions? But instead listening to them and letting them guide you? I think it depends. I think sometimes we latch on to emotions of the past that don't really properly reflect the current time. And so those are the ones that sometimes we have to uh, recognize and for her own benefit learn to release right learn to release but there definitely are you know other instances where our emotions definitely yeah are trying to tell us something and we totally should listen to them but I think what I'm talking about as far as allowing music to move you to the space where you want to be. You know, if, you're, if your feelings aren't making you feel well, and you're not happy with them, and they're hurting you, and you've done all you can to try and investigate them and work with them, uh, and you're just ready to, to kind of move on, then yeah, that's definitely what I would... I hope that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Hey, baby jewels, welcome to the treehouse. And cel... What is that? Celerus? 
Silver Lake, welcome to the treehouse, dear. <laughs> so mean, right? You think? <laughs> I think my cat would be upset, Brad, yeah, if you gave Paintbrush a hug. Because she gets nervous about people, just in general. She would probably hide under the bed for a while. her about it but we do we stop what we're doing we do stop what we're doing and we do give her some attention so it's not like she goes without we do just kind of pick on her a little bit about it like we kind of tell her we know what you're doing Consciously, it could be. But I think um, we all have power over where we're going, whether we uh, want to accept that or not. Right? Whether we're aware of it or not, we still have the power to change that. choosing to use that in our benefit instead of maybe against us. Because <laughs> some people don't realize that, you know, music and words hold that much power. You know, some people just don't realize that. And some people don't want to think that that's the case. So there's always there's always two sides to the coin. <laughs> Your friend Katz gets jealous of the blanket you cuddle with when you go to sleep because you babysat her. She kind of got that's funny. <laughs> so when she wakes up, she tries to get rid of the blanket so she can cuddle with you. Maybe she wants to be under the blanket. Rad. One of my cats, before Lou, before Lou, used to be, uh, I guess, a, a cave-dwelling type cat. Like, they like to be, like, hidden under things. So maybe they're actually trying to move the blanket so they can be under it with you. Because that that's what one of my cats really liked to do. It's like, she, he'd try to dig under the blanket to see if he could get under it. But I tried to explain to him that's not how it works. You can't dig the blanket. I have to lift it up. But, you know, they're just doing what they think makes sense. Want to be under it so they think they can just take it out. <laughs> oh, yeah? You've been trying to not have any goals, just kind of letting the universe guide me, and it's been pretty amazing. Aww. Yeah, that can be awesome too. No goals at all, you're kind of just like. Free fall. It's like a free fall. That's what that is. <laughs> Aww. Your cat is attached to you, so when when you come over to your friend's house, she never lets you out of her sight. Aww. Oh, 
especially in the winter, I'd get uh, heated blankets in the winter. I really like heated blankets. I own a lot of heated blankets. And uh, in the winter, when I had this cat, his name was Duncan. That's the cat's name. He would, uh, bless you, honey. take a nice nap and now you want pets? Did you take a nice nap and now you want some pets? Huh? Now you want some pets? She's very sweet. I think so, Rad. Yeah, she has a hard time with new people. She has a hard time with new people. Oh, she likes it when I give her little ear tucks. She likes it. Here, scoot up just a tiny bit, honey. Because I'm gonna need to change the CD. You jumped up right when it was time to change the CD. Well, don't be moving now. Don't be moving now. You can still sleep. You can still lay down. We're just gonna be moving just a tiny bit for now. You're fine. She's like, what, get down? I'm like, no. <laughs> you don't have to get down. No, you don't. We're just gonna be moving for a minute. And then we'll go back to normal. Okay, then we'll go back to normal. You silly girl. You silly girl. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't do, uh, visitors, new visitors very well. You have to come over for a while. You have to be around for a while before she gets comfortable. It took, uh, when I started dating my current boyfriend. No music for a few minutes? Too bad we can't pet humans on the head like animals, like we do animals. I do like, uh, 
getting pets on the head. I bet I give paintbrush pets on the head. Just mess up their hair. Just walk up to them and go, good boy. <sighs> they might like that. Unless they're very, uh, unless they're very particular about their hair, then they probably would get upset. This is much louder, though. Imagine being able to pet human beings. Lou, you are so... I don't know any other cat that would be okay with this much movement. <laughs> She's just so chill. She's just like, whatever, I'm still on your lap. Ain't no big deal. Chunk. You're a chill. You're a chill kitty. You're a chill. I think you are. You're pretty chill. You're pretty chill. She's very relaxed. She's gonna watch me paint very diligently now. You're just doing okay today. Oh, you enjoy receiving pets? <laughs> Adelia, yeah, I do too. <laughs> but most people don't like it, yeah. I think most people are very particular about their hair. What was that? Did you hear that? It sounded like wind, but not. What are my neighbors doing? You're feeling a bit overwhelmed today. That's okay. That's okay, Miss Sin. Try to focus on one task at a time. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to do it. Hey, clockwork. Welcome in, dear. Aww. You're always so sweet, clockwork. Hope you're okay and safe. I'm glad that you exist. That's so sweet. Thank you. I'm glad you exist. <laughs> you're drawing and you're developing your book ideas. They're both going well. That's good to hear, Clockwork. That's good to hear, dear. You intended to go to the post office today, Sin? Post office. I haven't been to the post office. I'm kind of holding off on mailing things until uh, things open up a bit more. I don't want to send stuff in case I, I guess, carry anything. You're anxious because of the situation going on in the world? Yeah, yeah, I've kind of, <laughs> yes. You see her, she grabbed my arm. <laughs> my neighbors are seriously tearing up their whole home, I swear. Love you. <laughs> She's over it. <laughs> what I do enjoy when it comes to picking on people taller and shorter than you. For shorter people, I put my arm on their shoulders. A lot of people who are taller than me will put their arms on my head. Like I'm a good, uh, I'm a good armrest for their, like my head is a good armrest for them because I'm so short. So that sounds about right. I'm very curious, what are my neighbors doing? You 
if they're taller than you, you lean and put your, oh, your arm on their arm, mm. like their shoulder. Yeah, I'm doing well, I'm keeping busy, yeah, clockwork, I definitely am. I definitely am. We were just talking about a sin bef uh, basically when you were hopping on, or right before you hopped on, about uh, using music to help uh, shift your mood. To maybe where you need to be. Or where you, uh, a place that makes you feel a bit better. That's what we were talking, just discussing. Even when someone has ordered your paintings, yeah, I've told them, um, you know, where I stand. Like when I send them an e I send them an email confirmation. And I'm like, hey, because of this situation, we're holding off. Let me know if you agree with that, or uh, if you don't agree with that, you know. And everyone's been super understanding. So there's a bunch of packages sitting on my, sitting on the foyer, like, waiting to go. Bye! But they're all ready. And everyone who's waiting is getting some extra items, so they don't mind. They don't mind. I haven't had anyone complain yet. Everybody gets it. <laughs> You're trying to figure out how to continue functioning and be safe, especially with physical product services. Yeah, I've just been honest when people order stuff. I've just been honest, like, hey, uh, I'd like to not go, if at all possible. Here's why. I'd also like to not send you something, because I, I was sick uh, a few days ago, and I've been off and on sick for a minute. Like, not uh, super, super sick or anything like that, but I have been ill. So I just told them the truth, like, hey, I've been under the weather, if you've watched the stream, you know, I've missed a day or so, and I just would rather not, I'm a little weary to, like, send you stuff at the moment, you know, I want to hang on to it for a while and just make sure it's, uh, safe to send it, and everyone's been really understanding, I haven't had a single person come back and complain, so... But yeah, even people who have ordered paintings. <laughs> but I've also told them, hey, you're getting a... something extra. <laughs> for waiting. So I'm, I'm making it up. You know, I'm not just holding on to it just because and... not telling people. multiple statements about it, so. I swear my neighbors are tearing up their entire yard. Thank you for sharing the approach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would write, I would write up an email. I, ever, I think everybody is way understanding at this point in time, to tell you the tone. To tell you the truth, and I think a lot of people are very understanding. You know. I wouldn't worry too much. And if they're not going to be compassionate and understanding during this time, I'm probably not going to want to have much continued uh, business with individual, you know what I mean? Like, now, of all times, now is the time to be, uh, compassionate, you know? Of all times, like, now is, like, the time. <laughs> so if you can't do it now... <laughs> if you can't do it now, I, I send you, I send you lots of love and peace.
yeah you'll do that yeah I hope I feel better more consistently yeah yeah I think I will Lou the cat wants us to be at a different angle hey sweetie <laughs> she's headbutting the camera <laughs> you headbutting the camera you moving us around you're causing a mini cat quake sweetie you're causing a mini cat quake Are you going to come up here or what? I'm trying to... This is when you try to convince the cat that your idea is better than what they are currently doing. Which is messing up your stream. Come here. Come here. Come here, honey. You silly girl. Are you trying to bite? Are you trying to bite the paintbrush? Are you trying to bite it? You can lay down. you very much. Thank you for always being so good. Thank you, thank you. You guys can probably hear her pretty well. So loud. She's so loud right now. shift your energy, shift your body around so you fit better. <sighs> oh, you were right if you brought back bacteria. Hmm. The immune system. I feel like you have to have some type of... Uh... The immune system does well. When you uh, have like a uh, gradual exposure to the environment, like our bodies are meant to be good at fighting things off, you know. But I can understand being concerned, you know. Her purring is so cute. You still find it cool that we're in the same generation? Do we not? If, I mean, there's lots of people in that generation, right? I guess I might be missing something. I don't really feel a generational uh, duty, maybe. Might be the right word. Hancock's enormous. <laughs> Thank you so much for the the host. Also, I understand your name much better now. So you got me. Congratulations. That's kind of how I feel, Miss Senia. Totally not in any generations. So yeah, that's exactly how I feel. You admire people for adopting black cats. Most people? I don't think most people actually do that. But maybe some people do. I don't care what color Lou is. I think most of us don't care. We're just told that people do. I think most of us honestly do not care. It's just we're all told that people care. Some of us, some of us do, but I think the majority of us don't. You tried to stay calm. Ah, uh, realized it was illogical worries. You tried to take it easy. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. It's about uh, recognizing the emotion that you're in. She's gonna start chewing on my bracelet. You guys see this? She's gonna chew on my bracelet. You gonna chew on it? It's got the ties that you like. <laughs> I had my braids in yesterday, or the other night, I had my braids in my hair, and I was, the cat was like really interested in them because they look like toys, so I was silly, I was being silly and playing with her with my braids. So she grabs my braid and bites it, and then she starts to carry it off. Like, she starts to try to carry it off and like walk away with it, and I'm like, that's attached to my head. Good luck. Good luck, that is literally attached to my head. But she starts purring. She wants to walk away with it. <laughs> Look at her. You silly girl. You want a black cat or a white cat, Miss Cindy? You? Like Luna and Artemis from Sailor Moon? Aww, that's cute. things are the case. And knowing better. <laughs> Girl wombat. Exactly. <laughs> There's always a way. There's always a way. It's natural for humans to want to classify things. But I think for the most part, most of us understand classification can be helpful, but it also doesn't have to be like absolute, you know, touche, yeah. <laughs> I think most of us understand that.
what's my kitty's name? Her name is Lexi, but I call her, I call her uh, Lexi Lou, and I shorten her name to Lou a lot of the time. So I call her Lou, like a lot. What's her name? <laughs> I always wanted a cat named Luna, but my husband at the time when we got her uh, wanted to, to name her Lexi. So I kind of gave her Lexi Lou, the name Lexi Lou, and I got divorced. And uh, kind of just switched it up a little bit. So her name is a mix of both names, basically. Lou. Her name's Lou. if you really want it. <laughs> yeah, the uh was me saying, it was like a filler. Uh. <laughs> Rad, I think, I think you create uh, lots of uh, for yourself. Or at least like to play with the idea. I don't really worry about age too much. How old was I when I got married? <sighs> See, that's an age question, you know? And I do, I do, I have a really hard time with time. Uh, it was 2011? No, it was 2013 when I got married. You're craving vegan food again. <laughs> you find it incredibly important on the mindset and personality of the individual, do you? Hey, Wheel. Welcome in, dear. How are you? Hi, Wheel. I guess if you want to think it's kind of weird. That would be your choice. My uh, mom and uh, stepdad were like uh, 12 years apart. 11 or 12 years apart. I don't really think it uh, matters after a while. We have a hard time when it's like super young people, but I think when you get to a certain age, it's all about your maturity. She really wanted attention just then. You can see her little eyes. You see her little eyes right here. And she opened them. She slowly closed them again. She's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, she's giving love stares. Yeah, she is. She's thinking she might want to go after my bracelet again. <laughs> you
You guys can't see her tail, but I always know when she's upset because she wags her tail. Yeah. But she likes it when I kind of rub her ears. Rub her little ears. You're single and not ready to mingle for a while. That's okay. Lemmy? <laughs> you thought I grazed my knee? Oh, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a rose. I wear leggings under my pants because I get cold. It's a rose. It kind of does look like it, doesn't it? No, I'm healthy and okay. Or we can blame the cat. Maybe she did it. Miss Sumbra, welcome in, dear. How are you? <laughs> Aw, you popped him to say hello. Have a good one. Bye for now. Thank you so much, Lumi. Thank you for saying hi and popping in. I appreciate you very much. Have a fun one. <laughs> Have I had any moments where I randomly got warm? Listen. <sighs> Not for a minute. Not for a minute. But I think it's harder to tell now because it's getting hotter in here. It's just getting warmer in the treehouse in general. Where it was freezing. Now it's like warmer. <laughs> Welcome in, Miss Umbra, dear. I saw you pop in. Yeah, it was playful banter. Yeah. Ah, Sarah. Hey, Fiji Intuition. Hi, guys. Welcome to the treehouse. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate you very much. I'm gonna assume maybe you guys are watching some commercials. So I'll give you a second. Pop in. Hey, Pete. How was your stream? If they're anything like me, they get they watch commercials before they get here. <laughs> Aw, hey Bowhead. Hey Rocker Dyer. Welcome in, dear. Hey Pete. Welcome in, dear. Hi guys. Welcome to Treehouse. For those of you that are new, uh, I'm an intuitive watercolors on Twitch. I call the stream the Treehouse. We are uh, petting the cat who's just now getting up because I quit petting her. Where's her tail? Bye, honey. Or she's deciding. She's not sure. No, she's going now. Listen to chill music and paint. How was your stream, Sarah? Was it a good one? If you guys uh, don't follow Sarah yet, uh, you totally should. She does uh, lots of chatting. She's a very calm person as well. She does uh, kind of intuitive uh, energy healing. I think is her main uh, business focus, which is pretty awesome. So if that's something that interests you, you can go uh, check her out for sure. <laughs> hey, Pega. Hi, Pega. Hi, Pega. Hi, Pega. Provide, provided you with some beautiful healing pee, I'm sure. Yeah, I was kind of excited when I found out she was going to do a later in the day stream, but then I was like, darn it, that's when I start streaming. <laughs> so I missed it. But I'm glad to have you guys here. I'm glad to have you guys here. How are you doing, Pia? Wednesday going for you? Wednesday's going good, yeah. Oh, you waited until the raid to share after the raid to share that. Yeah, I probably missed some stuff. Raids kind of throw us off for a minute. 
used to always be a cold person, but since you started uh, channeling, and when you started channeling more frequently, I'm not sure if I'm permanently, if you per permanently change your body temperature. Oh, interesting. I never thought of it like that. Maybe that is the case. Sin. Because I'm pretty warm right now. Even now, just talking about it makes me warm. <laughs> so Sarah, I don't know if you're still here or if you guys want to talk about uh, the stream, how it went, what you do. It's a new redemption. Yes, it is. Maybe you're calling on your guidance. Ugh. Maybe. <laughs> Could be. I call on them all the time. They probably get annoyed with me. They pro I call on them all the time. They probably get annoyed with me. So they're probably like, we don't want to listen to you right now. Or no, you don't want to listen right now. When you hear me move my legs, and then you hear a weird chime, it's because this is by my feet. So I'll move my feet sometimes to get it to go off. So that's a wind chime. But I have lots of chimes. There's a couple of chimes I don't ever get to play. I guess we're gonna just ring all my chimes really quick. I'll be back. I used to ring this one a lot. That one hangs out uh, by the window. So this is the rest of the room. So this is where my bowls are, the chimes and the bowls, and that's my money tree. And I got another plant in the window. Uh, you can't really see it though. You can't really see it, it's too bright. Anyway, and then Lou, Lou's little napping area is over there with the cat cam. <laughs> but, um, sorry, he 
you guys kind of went for a ride. Move this back to normal. Perfect. But yeah, I used to ring that one a lot. And then I have this other one. So I have quite a few chimes. I have quite a few chimes. Hey Nico, welcome back. Sorry, I took you guys on a mini tour and started ringing all my chimes. <laughs> They're no longer singing bowls. Why, why? <laughs> Do they feel nice to hear? Aw, that's good, that's good. Are you feeling better now, Pete? Because uh, you're in a bit of a funk. That's okay, Pete. That's okay. It happens. I'm glad you're better. And Sarah, you didn't mean to stream at the same time. It happens, son. I'm not worried. <laughs> but yeah, we just ran. We just went through and rang all of our chimes. And then welcome into the trail, son. Hi, hi. How are you? You got this. Yeah. To calm that anxiety. Yeah, maybe we should light an incense. You guys want to listen to some bowls for a minute? I'll light some incense and we'll maybe do some breathing exercises really quick. You guys want to do mini uh, breathing meditation really fast? I like some rose incense. Are you doing good? That's great. I'm glad. <laughs> Sounds good to you. I think that would help. They became choir bowls when there's more than one. Yeah, there's three. I have three bowls. Which is why they all sound different. Did I like the warm weather yesterday? I did. I went on a walk, but today it got cold and rainy again, so... Oh well, I guess. <laughs> you never know. You never know what uh, Michigan's gonna do. You never know what Michigan's gonna do. You just started bringing incense to Nico. Yeah, we'll wait one for peace of mind, I think. I know I can still be healing. Healing the spirit. It can still be healing. It's really all healing. Is really what it is. So we're still gonna light it for healing. Light it for healing every single time. Oh, here it is. incense. The rose incense smells the best. And it's just, it's just the best. It's the favorite. <laughs> You're back, Miss Umbra. Okay, perfect. Welcome back, dear. Welcome back. Let's grab our bowl. I kind of feel like we should use this one. This is a good one. 
This is a good one. It's getting a little bit loud, but that's okay. I'm trying to watch the meter so we don't go into the red. <laughs> I do like lavender too, yeah. So always breathe for four. So deep breath in. Holding for four, if we can hold it for that long. And breathing out for four. We do it four times. So we're gonna breathe in. Take your time. You want to take the time with the breath. If you can't uh, hold it that long, that's okay. However long you can manage. As long as you take your time. So one, one more here. Well, two more. Get another breath in. So the last breath is going to be the deepest. So with the last breath, you really try and go in just as slowly as and as deeply as you can. It's going to be like the final seal of relaxation, kind of. So you can just breathe in super deep. Exactly, Dina. And then you can release. Hey, Muriel. Welcome in, dear. Welcome in. reset ourselves so we can be nice and good now. Do I also eat ramen from that bowl? No. <laughs> I could though, if I wanted to. Hey Richard, Doris, hi sweetie. How are you? Welcome in, welcome in. I'm glad to see you. You really needed that? Mm -hmm. I'm glad. We did a grounding meditation, but it wasn't enough. Sometimes I feel, I feel like if I want to do a grounding meditation, it has to be unguided, if that makes sense. And it has to be one where I'm just breathing, like just focusing on breath or focusing on like, is my body straight? And is my shoulders happy? Is my body happy? In like where it is right now I feel like those are those help me the most because if it gets to be guided I'm like oh I can I want to go and do this other thing you know what I mean like <laughs> so I find unguided meditation for grounding is like much more helpful because I get a little too dreamy about visualizing you have had an unguided one for a while Unguided can help.
because I am a very visual person, so when I do a guided meditation, it can be, uh, it's almost like I'm testing how much I can create, like with the, the visual aids. And a lot of the time, uh, I'm a lot slower than the guided meditation too. Like I'm not in a hurry. Like I must feel like guided meditation's a little quick. I'm like, no, I just, I just, I feel like I just started and now you want to stop. Now you want to say, okay, time to wrap up. <laughs> I'm like, no. I want to keep going. But that's how I feel. That's just how I feel. <laughs> you got a new tarot deck, but the wrong one was sent with some. Oh no. Is it at least a cool one? I'd let you give me a reading, Miss Umbra, from your new deck. If you want a guinea pig, I can be your guinea pig. <laughs> You're gonna lurk real quick. Okay, Mario. Thank you so much for your lurk there. I appreciate you very much. Yeah, I'm curious to which what you ordered and what you actually got. It'd be interesting if like one of your friends like has always wanted that deck. Awesome. Thank you, Sin, so much for your host, Han. I appreciate you very much, dear. You're gonna ask if the deck spoke to you. That was gonna be my question to you. I appreciate that, Cindy. Thank you. So that was the offering which uh, Forest Fairy gave us. That CD. Aw, you're glad to get to be part of the journey to help the Endeavors blossom. That's true, Cindy. Yeah. Especially with, uh, did you always watch the uh, most recent uh, Patreon stream, Sin. I know you were streaming the day when we did it, but uh, I did post the video. I thought you would enjoy the concepts that we were discussing, if you had a chance to watch it. What's the color wheel? It's a mini game. Steam tamps. <laughs> you test your intention to see if you uh, can pick make the color wheel show the color that you want. It's just for fun. It's see if you can manipulate the color wheel through the interwebs. Wow, see? Wow. Dragon. The color wheel is amazing. You rated it a 5 on 5. Did you really? Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, you have about two of your vods. I think you will really like the newest one, Sin, for being able to. Because we did a lot of journaling and a lot of discussion, and I think you're really gonna like where the discussion went for a Patreon stream. You'll take time to watch them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Sin does. Sin streams too, guys, if you didn't know. And also streams. She 
She does a little bit of everything, I think. I think I've caught a little bit of everything on Sims streams. <laughs> hey, Blue Neuron. Welcome to the treehouse, dear. Hi, hi. The CD wanted to be a DJ. It was definitely wiggling quite a bit. <laughs> Sumper says, I don't identify with the uh, art or the symbology of the deck, but it looks like one you had wanted is now out of stock, so maybe I will give this one instead of returning it. You wanted the, uh, well, the one you got was Wild Unknown Archetypes. And the cards are circular. Interesting. Interesting. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Sin. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm not on, you watch the VODs to help chill out Steam Dams. I saw, I saw that some of my videos get like a lot of views and I'm not even live. And I'm like, wow, that's impressive. Like. I feel like I have a lot of people watching, but like I saw the other day, like one of them, some of them have been at like 80, 60, 40 views, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> Christ must miss me. Maybe I need to stream more. <laughs> it seems like the ones on Thursday do the well, do the most, like have the most uh, after stream views, the ones on Thursdays. Or Fridays. After I'm gone, like, all weekend. <laughs> That's how it appears, anyway. You're in the middle of a transformation time. So you see how you start conducting your content in the future? That's okay. We all do that. We all do that, so I wouldn't worry. Sometimes it's about finding what works for you, you know what I mean? Like I'm thinking for our stream anniversary, a uh, like I don't know how this is gonna work, but I would really like to be able to do like some uh, like karaoke singing while we paint and like have a uh, have you guys pick the subject matter of our painting? Like on a whim, you guys are like, paint a turtle. And so I like paint a turtle or something on this painting. So I'm gonna make quite a few backgrounds, I think, for paintings. And we're just gonna see what we can come up with together. I think it would be pretty fun. It'd probably be a long stream. I would imagine maybe stream anniversary should be like a like a twelve hour stream or something. <laughs> that might be kind of interesting. How long can Luna paint? And does she get better or worse as time goes by? Only time will tell. <laughs> hey Blue Neuron. Hi and thank you. Mm -hmm. Seems nice and relaxing in here. Yeah, it is pretty relaxing. We're not even on an ASMR tag today, but we usually have an ASMR tag on. Usually. <laughs> I've never experienced moments in my day where I remember how free my imagination was as a kid and all the things we conjured up and wanted to create when we'd grow up. The catch, then catch yourself seeing how we picked up on some of those conditional thoughts. The world, uh, kind of, as adults, impressed onto us. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. It's the type of moments you've been having lately. That was a really long question, but I'm remembering my own voice now, which is good. I saw the world different than what I was told and how I should see it or feel about it and I'm kind of unlearning <sighs> yeah it's kind of like going back to it's not really it, it's a little bit of unlearning but I feel like it's going back to the basics 
you know, like this whole stream has been me going back to the basics. Because for a while I, uh, yeah, we all kind of do that. I was trying to find a practical, a practical adult way to uh, make my art kind of into a business, but I was doing it for money at the time. You know, my art needed to have, be a business, and to have a business, you have to make money. So I was like, well, what can, what can make me the most money through my art? And so that's when I started doing lots of portraits. But uh, the portraits weren't fun. They weren't fun. And so then each time I got a commission, I was happy, but then I was also, like, sad. Because it really wasn't what I wanted to be doing with my art, you know, yeah, I was good at, I was good at portraits, but at the time it really wasn't what I wanted to be doing with my art. So it's about, uh, taking a step back for a while, evaluating that, and, uh, deciding a new approach, basically. Now it's like, now it's like channel paintings for uh, sacred spaces, or uh, just people just kind of want to see what comes out, too, you know. Like just for the fun of it now, people get a commission and they're like, I just want to see what you make, like that's, that's the fun part, you know what I mean? That brings fun to them too when they get to watch the process and uh, see how it kind of comes about. Sorry, I'll get. I wanted to finish my thought and then I'll go back to. I'll go back to chat. <laughs> I saw chat moving quite a bit. you received is pretty, but the circle cards look difficult to work with. I wondered how you would shuffle circle cards. Like, I have a hard time already with some cards. Mm, you keep remembering moments in your life where you lived in the library and you would spend hours looking at books. Mm. You had your own views and opinions, and somehow along the way when I did things, I got influenced by how I actually should do things and what would be seen as special or appropriate. And the next thing you know, I felt like I blend, I blended in and became like everyone else, kind of. Even when trying to resist the imprints that society or others impose on you, I still find it takes a grip to some extent. I agree, Pete. I agree. You put them in the hat, Miss Summer, that's interesting. like drawing them from a hat instead of shuffling. I like that. <laughs> you never lost your childhood side, Miko. My childhood side, I think I lost when I got married. I lost part of it. I didn't ever lose the whole thing, but I did lose part of it. But I was very, all of my energy was spent on aiding another person instead of uh, spending time on me and that might sound selfish but that's exactly what it was it was me trying to aid another person who didn't know how to like help themselves and didn't really know if they wanted to yeah it was I spent a lot of time and a lot of energy
<laughs> and inspired moments recall them back. Yeah. Yes, and they do. You were joking about the hat thing? Oh. Darn it. That sounded like it could be good. Cause then you're really blind with drawing the guards. You can't even see them if they're in a hat. It's kind of like, it's kind of no different than drawing how I draw a rune. Miss Sombra. It didn't seem way off base, because that's kind of how I draw a rune. Like, runes are in the bag. And you just kind of throw your hand in there and see what comes out. <laughs> yeah, Pete likes the idea. Obviously we were... Obviously, we agreed that that should be a way that you should draw cards. Obviously, we are all in agreement. Could help. You could definitely be way more blind to uh, what's coming out that way. You could do that. <laughs> Doubt is always our enemy. <sighs> Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? That's the truth. I felt that one, Pete. I felt that one. That's very true. <laughs> what music are we listening to? Where's Mike? This is Nina Flutes. Red Wind. Red Wind. I got it at the discount. In the discount bin. We listen to CDs. We're old school. You have jumped into, I don't know, 1990? Except I don't dress like I'm from 1990. Some people could probably think that I do, maybe. Hey, sound. Welcome back, dear. How are you? How are you? A realization. Mm -hmm. I could see it that way, too, Sin. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, Red Wind. I listen to a lot of, uh, we listen to a lot of Nakai, Carlos Nakai, in the stream. Listen to a lot of native flutes. A lot of native flutes. perspective. Print, print operator. Hey, welcome to the treehouse. <laughs> I like your name. <laughs> welcome to the treehouse, dear. Eventually, 
eventually I'll move on from this stencil. I'm almost done with this. I'm about halfway done with this inner portion and then we'll move on to some other mandalas. I figured we would slow down once we hit this detail work with the mandala. Just the natural progression of how this works. Oh yeah, don't want to give up. Keep doing that work and keep your trust. And be faith-centered, yeah. Yeah, work on, work on things that are holding you back from what you really want. And it's okay to have work to do. Like, everybody's got work. They need to work to be doing. Progress is progress. I wouldn't feel bad knowing that there's something that you have to work on. Like I've been doing the uh, forgiveness meditations, like a lot recently. I'll probably do one when the stream's over. <laughs> instead of the other person, if that makes sense. I, th I think maybe that's a, a lesson that like I'm learning, is that forgiveness isn't necessarily for the other party, you know, because maybe they don't even realize, maybe they don't even realize that that pain is necessarily there, you know what I mean? 
it's just I interpret it as being there because it's mine, not theirs. This is getting really deep. This is getting really deep. When you were able to sincerely practice forgiveness, love and compassion and gratitude for what next ex put you through a lot. Yeah, I have that too. Psycho Pete. I left your. You felt your heart chakra let out a giant wave of energy. It was like you unlocked a new level. You find it funny that I said AOE heals. Yeah. Somebody would find that funny. It's only to heal yourself. Holding on to resentment of any sort is hurting yourself, yeah. Yeah, I'd make the uh, practice of forgiveness more about aiding the other person instead of myself. forgiven by that person, but I'm not going to do it for me. I'm just going to do it so that person feels better, you know, about what's happened, whatever it happens to be. a little bit before we head in, but I do want to grab a snack. We've been live for four hours, and I'm feeling like a snack would be helpful. So I think we're just going to take a few minutes to go grab a snack, and we'll continue. Hey Ness, welcome to the treehouse, dear. And then we'll probably finalize them to some things a bit more. I do really like the way this guy looks on this painting, though. I wish you guys can see the. Uh, I guess each each uh, computer screen is gonna show the painting a bit different, but I wish you guys could see it in like physical color. Because even on my screen, when I look over at the computer, it looks different. Did you hear me say I need a snack so you're coming to lay on my lap again? <laughs> Thank you so much for your follow, Ness. Is it Nessie? Hi, honey. We're gonna grab a snack. I'm gonna be gone just for, just for a minute. I'm gonna grab a banana, maybe another beverage. I'll catch up with Pete though, really quick, because I don't want to forget Pete's message. When you're practicing forgiveness, those who harmed you are just people who are stuck in their own, their own minds. Yeah, they are. Deterministic brain world and our brains are not except for that word. This might be a lot of text. Sorry, the cat like moved her, moved the camera. She's gonna take a nap. You can see the cat. <laughs> She's now gonna be the painter. The cat's gonna pet now. I'm uh, gonna pet. I'm gonna paint now. Yeah, welcome back, Sin. <laughs> and you realize there, 
actions were predetermined by their own experiences. That's true. Yeah. Predetermined. Like they, everyone does things for a reason, right? That they also think is appropriate. Otherwise they wouldn't have done it. They would have done it differently. Everyone's just doing what they think is best. It's just sometimes that, uh, the idea of that, of what's best changes because we're growing, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab a snack and we'll come right back. I'm just gonna grab something small, I think. Maybe another beverage because my coconut water is kind of getting a little bit low. So you guys can watch the cat for a minute. Make sure she doesn't break anything. I'm always eating. I haven't eaten in like four hours. Rocker, look, look, look at the uptime. Look at the uptime. Four hours and eight minutes. It's time to eat. I'll be back. Just a couple minutes. Thank you. 
I don't even know how many minutes that was. I saw you all being cheeky with each other <laughs> in the chat. You're surprised to see me type in chat. I watch you guys. I watch the chat when I'm gone still. You suddenly lost your appetite? No. I have a bottomless stomach? spicy. It's cold pressed. I got it on clearance. It's organic. It's cold pressed. It's citrus cayenne. So there's pepper in here. It's apple, orange, coconut water, uh, pineapple, lemon, ginger, and cayenne pepper. So it's like orange. It's like spicy orange juice. It's very spicy. It is actually really good. But yeah, it tastes like spicy orange juice. Yeah, it is spicy juice. Mm hmm You wanna try it? It sounds gross, but it, it does taste like spicy orange juice. So I prefer to have it in the morning. But, uh... I decided to have it in the afternoon since I had my coconut water with espresso I was sipping on. I haven't had too much of this today. But I'm slowly sipping on that all day. So I decided to save my orange juice for later. Mmm, spicy juice. It's flammable. Does it seem... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it tastes like it could be flammable, because it's it's got some kick, that's for sure. It definitely has some kick to it. I checked on my neighbors, and apparently they've dug out their whole yard. Like now they don't, they had a little bit of grass, but now they don't have any grass. Their whole yard is like a mud pit. I'm so confused. I don't know what they're trying to do. I'm assuming they're trying to fix their leaky basement. That's all I can think about. Is that maybe they have water seeping in through the home. It looks like a disaster though. It looks like a disaster. It looks like I could go out in their yard and, like, wrestle in the mud. It's like a giant mud pit. You like spicy anything, Sen? Mmm. Yeah, yeah. I think you would like it then. And I've... I still want to get you some pepper jam, Sen. And send it to you. I still want to get you some pepper jam. As soon as the farmer's market opens up, I'll pick some up and make it like part of the giveaway or something. <laughs> By the way, if you're subscribed to the channel, I am doing a subscriber giveaway, if you have not noticed. I'm really bad at talking about it. But if you're subscribed to the channel, you can throw in your ticket for a chance to win some of the giveaway items that we have going on today. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Do you want to come back up? Hmm? The cat is like looking at me, just staring. You 
feel like spicy juice would help with digestion. Maybe. I mean, I think there is ginger. Yeah, there's ginger in there too. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the spicy pepper jam is so good. Hi, sweetie. Welcome back. She really likes to jostle the camera with her tail when she jumps up. Welcome back, sweetie. <laughs> we should just, it should really be a cat quake emote. Maybe that'll be another one that we do eventually. Have like a cat quake emote whenever Lou comes around because she shakes the camera. whole Twitch world to shake, honey. It's, you shake everyone around in the treehouse, we get all jostled around. Yeah, we do. That's what you do. She's like reorganizing herself. She was trying to ask for food, but it's not quite dinner time for her yet. She's trying to ask for it early. Look at her little feet. You see her little feet? Lou Quake, basically, yeah. Yeah, the, a little Lou Quake. Instead of an earthquake, it's a Lou Quake. screaming? Does it really? That's creepy. <laughs> Interesting. Against the window? What kind of cat does that? I'm like trying to imagine a cat scream. I don't know my cat. Blue, you really don't scream, do you? I don't think I've ever heard you scream. I think the most you do it's like, <laughs> it's like, huff is the most that you do. You do a lot of huffing sometimes. <laughs> She's trying to get comfortable. She just keeps rolling over. <laughs> you silly. Are you good now? Hmm? Are you good now? shifting around until she's in a good spot. The thing is her little feet, sometimes she tries to dig her little feet under my legs, which can be kind of scary because I don't want to crush her little feet, but she slides them like right under. She asks and asks and asks, and I get really close to going to the door, but then I don't. She'll huff. Or, um, if I don't pet her enough, she'll huff. Like, usually a huff is, uh, like, her way of saying, I really did not like what you did. It's her way of saying it. She huffs. 
She's so sassy. <laughs> your old rabbit was the same way. Honey, you're laying on your own tail. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> she was like crushing her own tail. Now it's better. I wondered why I didn't notice your tail wagging. Because you were laying on your own tail. I couldn't have been that comfortable. <laughs> she wants the warmth of my body. Maybe she does. Maybe she does. Maybe she just likes being on my lap when I'm painting. She just likes being on my lap when I'm painting. Especially when I'm painting. She'll, uh, she'll be okay to not sit on my lap any other time. Like if I'm on the couch. When I'm on the couch is really when I want her to come cuddle. But she won't. She, uh, mostly wants to sit on my lap while I'm here painting with you guys. But she was the same way. I think she just likes being up here in the treehouse. I think that's what it is. Because she really wanted lots of cuddles when this was my home office. Up here. I had my home office in this room. So when I was working from home at my corporate job, uh, she would uh, want to sit on my lap and get pets a lot. So I think she just really likes this room. She's like, it kind of feels like we're off in our own little space and she doesn't have to worry about anything. She doesn't have to worry about anybody like coming up here unless it's time to stream. So I think she just really just likes this space. It's kind of like her own little safe haven that I come visit. <laughs> it's really what it is. Because I'll take a break. You know, I'll take a couple days break from streaming and I'll wander around the house, wonder where she's at, and she's up here sleeping. So. This is definitely one of her favorite places in the house. Ubisoft announced the name of the new game. It's called Valhalla. Oh. Very nice. Valhalla. That seems fitting for a Viking game. <laughs> She's gonna get a drink, I think. Are you done? No, she's gonna lay on the rug. Her second favorite spot to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I liked working from home. But this was just, you know, what I was meant to be switching to. You know? Kind of doing my own thing. to go from helping somebody else build their dream to uh, building your own. <laughs> kind of hard to make that transition. Because somebody else's dream, you know, you have a set uh, game plan. You know, you go to work for somebody, they hire you for a specific position, and you're meant to do a 
particular task, so there's uh, kind of an ease about that. You know, you know what you're supposed to do, you know, after they kind of tell you. You know, you have guidelines to follow, things like that. Doesn't quite work the same when you are uh, growing your own thing. <laughs> Oh, is this, is this, uh, Gigi? Yeah, it's Gigi. <laughs> yeah. Can see. Oh, no, they're hiding really well today. <laughs> yeah, it's Gigi. Could I try my hand and explain why people get so violently angry about people self-promoting in their discords or on their streams? I think it's, it's kind of, I think it's almost kind of rude. It's, I think of it this way. I think of it this way. So like, think of it as, like, think of it as, like, I have, I'm in my home, right? And I'm doing my own thing, and my friends are over, and we're having a good old time. And uh, I leave, my front door is open to my house, though. My front door is open. And, uh, you know, because I want to invite people. I want to invite people in and make them feel welcome and have them enjoy the space and the party kind of that we've created. This is a visual representation of how I explain it. Um, so you and your friends are hanging out at the house, having a good old time, and then all of a sudden, you know, someone who usually has just come to the party kind of says, oh, I have a party too. I have a party too. It's pretty awesome. It kind of takes you out of the experience of being present with uh, what's going on at that party. And it's, uh, it's almost kind of like saying, I also have a house party that, uh, is pretty cool. It all, it's kind of rude to the person who threw the house party to talk about your house party. You know what I mean? Unless there's, like, direct correlations, like, oh yeah, I also do that when I have a house party. Like, that kind of stuff's different. Hey, Jarvis, brute. Hey, welcome to the treehouse, dear. <laughs> Thank you for your follow. The Super Hannah, welcome to the treehouse, hon. Hopefully you're doing well today. I don't I think Discord's different though. I think Discord's different. I have a particular channel in Discord. Because Discord is for community building. At least my thought is Discord is for community building. So if like other members of the community also stream and they're big supporters you know, then I'm totally okay with it being in Discord, because that's kind of the whole point of Discord. But, yeah, that's kind of the best way I can explain it. I hope that makes sense. I guess there's always a proper way to do it, and then there's maybe not. It's like all about etiquette. You think that's a beautiful analogy, Miss Sin? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will I add meditation to the channel points in the future? I could, Dino. Is that something you want to see? We could do that. Maybe I'm wired in that regard, but if someone isn't enjoying my party and would rather go check out someone else's party, I'd be sad, but overall I'd be happier that they're taking care of themselves. Yeah, but that's not really what the party's for. 
You know what I mean? Like, if you don't like the party and you're not enjoying yourself, you don't have to be at the party. You know, you don't have to announce that you're going to another party. You know what I mean? Like, you can just peacefully be on your way and just enjoy the other party. It's not saying you can't in go and have another party or you shouldn't have a party. It's just saying, you know, you kind of take the vibe down when you announce that you don't enjoy yourself and you're going to go to a different party. It's just about, it's just about how it's presented, you know. <laughs> you're in and out of the studio. You're learning how to have parties and support others' parties, too. Yeah, balance, exactly. But if, if I'm like, you know, I think if people are like, hey, I have an idea about a party. Or like, you know, the party guest, the party person who's like hosting the party is like, hey, what kind of ideas do you think we should do for the next party? And that's kind of like opening it up to say, well, oh, okay, well, here's what I do at my party. And that's like, oh, that would be fun. Yeah, cool. I didn't know you did that. We should uh, have a party at your place sometime. I don't, I don't have the same tools to be able to have that kind of part thing at my party. We should go hang out at your party sometime. Like there's uh, better ways to, uh, I guess, go about it. Hey, not your fan. Welcome in, dear. How are you? It's not really stealing thunder. I think it just, uh, I think everyone can feel the energy of that type of uh, exchange. I think everyone can feel the energy of that type of exchange. I think it's just mostly about not being present, you know, because if you're present in the uh, kind of current conversation and things like that, then you won't be thinking about how you do your party, you know, if you're really enjoying the space, you're not thinking about your own party, that's really the truth, you're not even thinking about it, so you wouldn't even, uh, the best way I can explain. You're doing good as usual. Ah, that's nice. I'm glad not your fan. I'm glad. You think it's coming along nicely? Nicely. Yes. You're painting your nails blue. Mm -hmm. Why blue? Why blue? I'm curious. You think it's coming along nicely? Thank you, Casper. How many channel points will a meditation cost? I don't know. It depends on how long we want the meditation to be. It depends on how long we would want that to be. I would say at least 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes. So maybe... I don't know. Maybe like 20,000? What do you think? What would you guys be okay with? I would be ringing bowls, too. Or maybe we could make it a one of the dream meditations. Ooh, maybe that could be a redemption. Dino's helping us think of more ideas for our party. <laughs> Were you here, Tino? When we did our dream meditation? Were you here? I think you've probably seen us do that before. Hold on, let me get the books. Okay, perfect. 
Maybe one of these you can redeem. They're actually children's meditations. <laughs> but we used to read these in the evening. But maybe you guys can redeem one of those when you feel necessary. Maybe like 50,000? Or 30,000? Maybe 30... Maybe like 50,000 for one of these. And uh... Like 20? For like a 10 minute thing? Like a 10 minute breather? Maybe we could do that. Is it baby blue? Oh, you're tired of lilac. So instead of light purple, you went light blue. You think if I just ad lib a meditation myself, it would be really cool? Mm -mm. I usually when I read those stories to keep it um, less copyright. I do make adjustments to the story. Like I don't just straight up read it. I do make adjustments to keep us, to keep it from uh, being totally, totally copyright infringement. You appear at bed, now you're fan. Okay, on. situation has been like just in the world today about a third of the way there with our pantrum so I was gonna do a specific uh, kind of ASMR like videos for uh, YouTube Turn that off for a minute. <laughs> I don't want people to look at that and feel uh, obligated, especially with some of the financial hardships people are going through right now. So I took down all my goals. I took down all my goals for the time being.
It's okay to have a small one, ones that don't add pressure, but it's an incentive to have more fun things. Oh, you mean about uh, taking down? Yeah. Well, I already had things like, uh, the subscriber, uh, the subscriber only, uh, streams, like the Bob Ross speed paintings, those are subscriber only. Uh, people can go watch them afterwards, but you can't, uh, you can't live chat if you're not a subscriber. So I already have things that are specific. Everyone does their own thing, right? I just felt like I'm doing okay. I'm not doing great, but I'm doing okay. So I think there's other streamers that need help more than me, you know? Ah, <gasps> Bob Ross paintings. Yeah, please. No one told you? Yeah. We do Bob Ross bead paintings in the panels below. We're four hours and 44 minutes and 44 seconds into the stream. <laughs> I waited. Yeah, I do speed, I did speed paintings with Bob Ross. We watch Bob Ross and we paint along with him in real time. I did pause the other time though because I did a dark uh, black gesso painting. I didn't realize it had to, uh, I didn't realize I had to dry first. What's a mandala? My Bob Ross paintings are awesome. Thank you, Dino. That's very sweet. A car company was sharing the video. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like somebody wants you to buy a car. runs off diesel fuel. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, the sub perk is cool. Yeah, you get, you get, um, lots of perks. You get lots of perks. I'm trying to get back into channeled messages like daily channeled messages. That one, I don't know why. That one's been hard recently. I don't know why that one's been so hard for me to do. But it has been, so I haven't been doing that. Like I kind of wanted to. But those are in Discord. Channel messages in Discord. So Mandala is like a... It's like a sacred... Uh, geometry shape. It's a representation of uh, sacred geometry. But these are for, are going to be representations of the chakras. Maybe my guides don't have a message for every day. I'm asking for uh, everybody, though. I think I have a resistance for some reason. I don't know why. I just need to work through that. It's really what I think it is. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Hopefully that response uh, helped you, Nico. redemptions. Perfect. 
yeah. So these in the painting are specifically going to be a uh, representation for the chakras. So this one, this one in the center is going to be purple for the uh, crown chakra, which has taken us a long time to finish. I knew that the mandala was going to probably take most of our time today, if not all of it, and I was correct. We're almost done though, but we also only have like an hour left, so. So I was basically right. You think it's okay that I feel resistance? Yeah. Yep, it's just the way things go sometimes. No big deal. Maybe. It seems to be just at random though. Like I can sit there and meditate and meditate and meditate and meditate and meditate. sit here and do like whatever don't really focus on it too much and at random and then I don't know what to do with it so kind of frustrating maybe I'm just too frustrated maybe that's what it is yeah I'm just too frustrated That could very well be the case. Hey, Jim Carter. Welcome to the treehouse, dear. <laughs> you felt blocked before. <sighs> Non-reception place. Yeah. Kinda. But that's happened to me before. And then come right back. It just seems haphazard right now. It's just kind of whenever, whatever and whenever at the moment. So I'm just kind of, I don't want to put a, I guess a pressure on it. You know, you know. <laughs> Most refreshing to find someone who puts pen to paper and creates a beautiful picture by hand? Yes. Hand paint and color. In a way that uh, computer programs don't. Yeah, I don't do any digital. We're all traditional here. Yeah, I do, I've made my own emotes. Don't get me wrong, I know how to do digital. Um, I've made my own emotes. I've made my own panels. I've made my own away screens. I've made all of that stuff. Um, so I know how to do it. I just, this makes me happy, so we do this. <laughs> and it's very relaxing, so. It comes when it's time. And I'm, disco and I'm discovered in a different state of mind. Oh, thank you for the follow, Jim Carter, I appreciate you. If that's the case, do you think it will help to carry a notebook and try to write down things? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that, Sin. But even then, it's sometimes I can't even translate what I'm, what's coming in. So it's kind of like, what do I write down? It's just weird. It's just weird. Like I said, maybe I'm just putting too much uh, emphasis on it, or I don't know. Who knows, man? Who knows? I 
just do my best. <laughs> I just do my best. Like you catch it when you can't, when it comes. You can write down what I'm feeling. Yeah, that's true. I could write down what I'm feeling. That's better than nothing, I guess, right? If someone set you in front of a computer with an art program, you'd be lost, would you really? I would be okay. I would, uh, I would manage somehow. I use, uh, off-brand programs for digital art. So, like, uh, Adobe. I never learned Adobe because it was so expensive. And I just never had the funds for that kind of thing. Especially to pay per month. Like now, when I did finally have enough money to move to something like that, uh, they switched it to subscription, and I was like, gosh, I can't afford a subscription like that. So, uh, those programs I never learned, but I have a lot of off programs, like uh, third-party programs that I've learned how to use. Which sometimes work the same way. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a journal right now. Saying it's kind of like just a journal. But it's becoming like kind of a mess because it's got like so many different things in it. And I don't know how I would ever, you know, if I were to go back and try and like find something in my journal, I don't think I would successfully find what I'm looking for. <laughs> it's just got so much going on. school, Carter? That's okay, dear. That's okay. I just tell everybody, uh, I do a luxury craft. A luxury craft. Which is true. like a diary for her spiritual growth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just a journal. 
It's just a journal. It's a fancy name. <laughs> it's a fancy name that uh, might make some people nervous for unknown reasons. Because they've been told, they've been told it's a bad thing. It was really not. I guess it could be if you want to write bad stuff in there. Lisa Frank style diary. <laughs> Same exact thing. Same exact thing. <laughs> we are so close to being done with this mandala. We can move on. This one took us a long time, but this is a massive mandala. that took us a while. <laughs> you started journaling. Oh, what you would pull when you did some tarot readings for yourself, yeah. Mm. Oh, you read about that once. Something like that in your studies, Nico, but it was called something different, yeah. It's just, it's, yeah, it's kind of, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter what you call it, it's still a journal with your personal growth journey in it. <laughs> call it whatever you want. <laughs> Here's a spiritual girl room. Taught him a lot of spiritual practices about the spirit world, and that's how the name came to be. An Indian guru? Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I knew, I knew that. You're not sure, but your twitch might be broke. But you just refreshed. That's okay. Is twitch being weird? Twitch can be weird all at once. It does what it wants, anyway. Oh, you're learning more about the origins of spiritual practices. Yeah, there's lots of history in all that, isn't there, Sin? Adopt from one another? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. You've been here for an hour? Have you? We finally got finished with our uh, purple mandala. You can see it a little bit better. And our rainbow sky. But the light from the back comes through, so it looks lighter because the light's shining through. When I go like this, you'd see my shadow. Like Peter Pan. <laughs> it's not the real color. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's not the real color. <laughs> we should do shadow puppets. Shadow puppets to the scenery. Little did you know that my paintings can also be scenery for shadow puppets. Just hold them behind them, or in front of a light. That's another selling point we could use, right? If I paint them blind enough. Shadow puppet scenes. <laughs> You're enjoying the shadow puppet work. 
That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so I want to. I don't want to do this mandala. I want to do something similar, but not as uh, full. So maybe like this. funny every time we uh i would have a uh this might be too busy too this might be too busy too every time i had a uh class project in like my younger years in like elementary school and we had to do a presentation of some kind at school i would always pick a puppet show i would always pick a puppet show to uh, kind of relay the information, I pick a puppet show every time. You had Shadow in your house yesterday. You had to make them leave. We're gonna need our uh, picture up here. I'm gonna need a picture up to see uh, what kind of um, colors we're gonna be working with. Exactly. Harmless. 
It's really not hard to not be silly. I wonder why I can't seem to be neutral for more than 10 minutes. I keep finding opportunities to laugh at everybody. <laughs> yeah, they won't bother you. I've been working on bringing out the silly side of myself that's been lost for a long time. Yeah, I embrace it. I think, uh, it's so, it's okay to be silly. Sometimes it's just how we deal with things, right? So we're gonna start with the root chakra first. So this is gonna be red. A nice kind of red color. So this is what we're gonna paint on first. You mean laugh at the situation? Yeah, I know what you, I know what you mean. What you meant. Yeah, you probably need it at this point. Probably. Yeah, everyone deals with stuff in their own way. And I know everybody has... I like to believe that everybody has good intentions. So I just don't worry about it, honestly, to tell you the truth. I just assume everybody is in good favor. And uh, I just don't worry about it. Now, if you're ridiculously rude, obviously there's a difference with that. started making random voices. <laughs> Some people do do that. Make some random voices. I think I'm gonna do this darker red. There's a couple different shades of red in here. There's like a slightly... a slightly orangish red, but I think I'm gonna go for full red with this one. Hey, Sound and Music. Welcome back, dear. Just reminded you. Nice, Pete. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice, nice. So let's do the red one first. Once all these chakras are done, we'll be in a good spot to maybe back off on stencils for a minute. <laughs> I, mean, I think I, maybe I should do the sten these stencils last because they'll need to be kind of finally on top of everything. So I think we'll do these last, but I do want to use this stencil in particular. Sorry, I just kind of got the idea that we'll those mandalas should be the final pieces because they're going to be covering a lot of the rest of the piece. Yeah, they're going to be covering a lot of the rest of the art piece. So we really need to put those those mandalas are going to, I think, be the last thing we put on. <laughs> you are just eating carrots. Oh, there were carrot people in your game. Wow. <laughs> There's all kinds of people out there. That's for sure. All kinds of people out there. That's for sure. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and... Uh, actually, let's look at the mohair clips. I'm going to pull up an image of the mohair glyphs. And if you don't know what the mohair glyphs look like, you're missing out, but I will, I will share a link. I'll try to pick the uh, picture that really stood out to me when I was looking at the glyphs. Well, actually, we might have to pick, uh... Oh no, this is a good one. So we are going to copy link. I'm 
going to drop it in the stream. So if you want to see what the mohair clips are, that's the link there for that. <laughs> this is what I'm going to look at so I can kind of get a good idea of how to uh, translate this to kind of what's already here. So I got the green section right, but it is kind of a, a kind of broken, kind of segmented rock. But there are also uh, pictures that show kind of like green moss coming down the side, which is kind of why I have this section here. So I think we're still in a good spot. I'm just gonna have to put some linear, linear, uh, like bedrock lines in it to kind of get that to come up across a little bit more. Maybe add a little linear patches of green too. And linear, I mean like going with the horizon. And then we'll have to do that down here as well. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna need darker brown first. Because this is actually, these are actually quite dark with their brown that they have. But I don't wanna go too dark because the rest of the painting is pretty light. So we're just gonna go and add extra dark as we go. discovered watercolor? Uh, I did, but I kind of always used watercolor because it was so cheap and I could reuse it a lot. So uh, I have experimented. Like we experiment all the time with our... Uh, we experiment all the time with our Bob Ross paintings. Cause those are with uh those are with oil paint so it's like way different way different way to paint way different way to paint yeah i've kind of always been using watercolors just because of how easy they were to use and you could, they were fairly cheap. So that's why I've been mostly painting with watercolors most of the time. This is just us filling in the space. tells me that I probably would really like acrylic, but uh, I don't know what it is. I've like tried it and uh, maybe I'm just too used to uh, the way watercolors work. That like other mediums are like difficult for me. <laughs> that makes sense. I think I've just become too used to uh, watercolor. Why is my knee full of blood? It's a rose. Does it look like? That's what Lemmy said when he popped in. That it looked like my nose, like my nose, my knee was blown out, but it's not. It's a rose. <laughs> it does look like it took out my knee though. <laughs> Like it. 
You had the same thought when you came into the stream today. You're all concerned about my knee. It's legit a rose. Is it a painted rose or a tattoo? It's a, uh, it's my leggings. I have leggings under my pants. So these pants actually have a hole in them, but I put leggings on because I get cold a lot. So they're my leggings showing through my pants. And this looks really dark now, but it's gonna it's gonna lighten up as we go. Kind of playing around with the colors. section a little bit uh, lighter and more sporadic because I want the bottom to look kind of misty like it doesn't have uh, anything super high defined it's kind of a misty kind of bottom where like things barely kind of stand out not in a rush to finish it. I'm just being present. Yeah, exactly. Yep, that's how this goes. I'm definitely not in a rush. I'm just kind of like, whatever happens, happens. We'll get it done when it's done. Yeah, I'm definitely not in a rush. I'm also not really particular with uh, my lines or anything. Unless I'm doing the mandalas, then I get particular. But I also don't try to get real harsh about uh, what we're doing. Like real expectation. I don't worry about it too much. But no, I missed that. I'm so sorry, dear. There's probably a lot going on in the chat when you, maybe you sent that, so I'm sorry I missed it. I'm super present. <laughs> this is what I like to do, obviously. I Obviously, I thoroughly enjoy doing it. Or I wouldn't be as present with it, you know? You could be able to dry push, brush to pull it one way. Might work work with oils. Yeah, I could try brush it. But I 
like getting spaces to blend interestingly. Plus this has like uh, special shapes that it wants to create. And folds. I think they're called gel paint. They look translucent, and some of them are opaque. The texture is like gel instead. Oh, gel instead of watercolor. Mm. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, watercolors are definitely opaque. Also put some of the uh, like this has a couple uh, speckles I put in, so we'll put some speckles over here too once we get to that point. I like how this music has. Uh, little ocean waves crashing because I imagine that would be uh, what this scene would sound like that's definitely what the scene would sound like it's the crashing waves Okay, I'm 
going to take out a bit of the harshness because I want it to blend just a little bit more than what it is. almost ready to go for today. We still have a little bit of time. We can still accomplish a lot in 30 minutes. <laughs> Unless we're doing a giant mandal or a mandala. But then we don't get as much done. seen that one in a minute. I can show you it. And update it. It's almost done. We still have a bit to go. So for this one I wanted to make um bison. Thank you for hanging out. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to make the, um, purple, uh, kind of galaxy colors here. I wanted to make it a little bit darker so that it kind of matched the depth of the dolphins a little bit better. And I wanted to make our darkest green a bit darker too because it's kind of the green is kind of blending in a little bit too much with the uh, purple like they're not standing out quite enough I want to bring the seaweed forward um, so I was thinking about doing that too this is how far we've gotten so I want to add some darkness to the kind of galaxy spaces there and some more darkness to our seaweed um, I think once we do that, we might actually be finished. So things just need to be a little bit darker uh, through here. Which I was thinking about doing, um, adding some black to our purple. And then adding some black to our dark green to really kind of make those pop forward like the dolphins kind of do. But it's really close. It's really close to done. Um, Close enough to complete it that I felt okay to post it on Instagram. But that one we're still gonna be working on. As well. But yeah, we've been working for a minute. We've been busy bees. Busy bees. Sarah painting? To the Sarah painting, you mean? Yeah, a lot of 
uh, the artwork I guess has my kind of uh, style to it. Doesn't it? I have a particular style that I kind of stick to for the most part. I think I stick to it for the most part. the other thing we need to finalize is... No, I think the figure can be last. I think the figure can be last. Giving my personal touch with every painting. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how it works. That is kind of how it works. Yeah, I would say my paintings look different from a lot of other people's paintings. Who's reading? From Fairyland. Hey! From Fairyland. Hi, Fairyland. Welcome to the treehouse, dear. <laughs> Thank you so much for the read. Welcome in, readers. Thank you, Pete, for that shout out. How are you doing today? Hi, dear. Welcome in to the treehouse. For those of you who are new, I'm an intuitive watercolorist on Twitch. I also do card readings sometimes. Um, you can use those with channel points. Hi, Koi. Welcome back, Koi Joy. Hi, hi. Uh, but usually we just paint and chill and pet the cat, who's now here on my lap, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, read hype. How was your stream, dear? What did you do? What did you do? Did you draw more cards? I think I've seen you do mostly cards. Thanks for the gratitude, of course, Pete. You're like on it. Huh, Sky Air Cloud, welcome to the treehouse, huh? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're good today. <laughs> Just doing tarot readings. That's good. That's good. It's good practice, right? Good practice. Very good practice. Thanks for bringing your friends over. I appreciate that very much, dear. We have uh, a really good uh, community on Twitch. I have yet to come across really any people on Twitch that I just like do not care for. Like it, it seems pretty rare to come across people like that. I feel I feel like I've been very lucky with the types of people that I have come across. But I think people who are, uh, you know, people people who uh, don't vibe with us don't hang around very long, so they get kind of bored. <laughs> what is then? I have no idea what it is. Andrew? <laughs> Another raid. Thank you, Andrea. I appreciate it very much, sweetie. You seem very lovely and have a calming stream. Many blessings. Thank you, Sky. I know you probably watched another streamer for a while. You're probably ready to go. Enjoy your evening, hon. I appreciate your follow very much. Yeah, thank you for those shout out, Pete. Welcome in, Andrea. I know Andrea paints on Twitch. I know Andrea's a painter. And I, she does some. I, she won runes from me. So if you want a rune reading, you can get a rune reading from Andrea. They're very fancy, fancy, fancy runes. <laughs> You're gonna go now, cat. That's okay, hon. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much, everybody, for all your love and support. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you all very, very much. You're going to do some research for your drawing style that you're interested in. Yes, practice, practice, practice. Have fun. Casmatic. Have fun. Have fun, have fun. Yeah, how did your stream go? I know Fairyland just came and brought their, their friends with them. And then I was just wrapping up my greeting to Fairyland, and then uh, Andrew, you popped in. So how was your stream? Thank you for bringing your friends. <laughs> it was a good one. What did you paint? I kind of assumed that you paint, that you just uh, painted today. I don't think I've seen you do anything other than paint, actually. 
on stream. Yeah. And Ad Adeline is gonna get uh, some silence that they've been wanting for a minute. <laughs> You did shell art. Oh, that's nice. Just some shell art. You hear that, honey? She did some shell art. And you made lots of shell puns while you were doing it. Wow, nice. <laughs> I, that's kind of fitting, Andrea. I'll have you know that the uh, forgiveness meditation I, I was working on had you go into the deep ocean and uh, I pictured a mermaid so it's kind of funny how you uh, talk about how that's what you're working on because a mermaid has been popping up a lot for me recently Kurger Salt says it was a shell of a stream I believe it was a shell of a stream yeah You don't like to be shellfish, Beach. Mm. You don't like to be a, a shellfish, Beach. Yeah, that would be hard on the feet. <laughs> the perfect, yeah. <laughs> That'd be hard on the feet. Well, I'm glad you had. It. I'm glad it was fun for you. I'm glad you had a good time. You'll have to share. Uh, what, how it turned out for you in the long run. We usually don't, uh, I'm surprised so many people like caught us today. We usually don't stream this long, but with my boyfriend working later during the day, we decided to go an hour longer than we would normally do. You think it's looking amazing? Thank you so much. I'm glad you think so. It's been a slow, a slow process, that's for sure. It's been a slow process. Kind of putting in some green as we go. Layering in layers of green. Because this, this cliffside, if you saw the picture on Google, it actually has like moss kind of uh, growing up the uh, layers of the rock. So it's got lots of rock layers, but it has moss kind of living and growing uh, in between the layers. So that's kind of what I'm trying to achieve very simplistically at the moment. And you can kind of catch a little bit of that. to some of our our piece as well. I'm kind of playing around with the composition just a tiny bit, like saying that uh, some of this green moss kind of like dangles off the side. So I'm kind of playing with that. That wasn't in the picture. That's just something that I think would be an interesting contrast. So I'm playing with it and putting it in there. It'd be more interesting than just a boring kind of flat green top. So playing around a little bit, right? We use uh, our references just as that, a reference, not a uh, solid uh, must. They're just a reference. I don't paint realism. I paint, uh, I guess I paint surrealism. I paint realism. I think surrealism would be an accurate uh, statement. <laughs> 
but we only have a few minutes left. Probably like 15 minutes left. And we'll be good for the evening. I'm not sure who we should read today. The evening. Find somebody to read. Trying to get some darker brown on this contrasted line here. Contrast where each uh, kind of cliff edge meets. Which adds an interesting uh, background there. Fifteen minutes left and no card reading for an entire stream. Has this happened before? It's happened, uh, a couple times. <laughs> a couple times. Probably the last few streams, to tell you the truth. But we had a rune, we had a rune. So it's not zero. <laughs> you redeemed your rune. I think people maybe were, we had a lot of different energies come in today. Got a lot of different energies coming today, so that might have had something to do with it. Everybody had their own uh, different focus. And I think sometimes when I don't have a cue, um, maybe some people feel like getting a card reading would be disrupting my creative flow. And it would really only may have us take a quick break. Because I kind of talked about this before, like, for me, like, card readings and my paintings feel like they're on the same wavelength, so it doesn't really pull me out to do, you know, both, or one after another, or, you know, do one and then come back. It doesn't really, uh, pull me out as much as maybe some people would think. Because I'm kind of in the same zone like the whole time I'm painting. But yeah, it's happened before. I think it's just, uh, I assume that it means that nobody uh, is looking for guidance, but I did do quite a few private ones, so that might be why, too. Like, people don't feel like they need it. Because <laughs> some people have gotten some private ones. Which could very well be the case, also. That and there's a lot of people now on Twitch who do card readings. So they probably get them. They probably get them from them, too. It depends. I don't really worry about it. It's not my number one focus. You know, I'm here to, I'm here to paint. So I think uh, people pick up on that as well. Like I don't see anybody from the. Uh, I don't really see people as competition, but I definitely don't see uh, tarot streamers as uh, competition because we do two totally different things. <laughs> what is a private reading? Uh, I do private readings off stream. Uh, do you know? People schedule private readings with me off stream. Where like, your business is your business, and you don't have to worry about uh, other people in chat, like, interrupting. Like, not that they need to interrupt, but Everyone, you know, has their own thing they want to talk about. Which is just the nature of a room full of people, right? <laughs> it's just the natural nature of it. But with the private readings, uh, it's just me and the individual doing the reading, uh, getting the um, message in. Um, usually they're like 40 minutes long. So, yeah, that's the private readings. It's video. So you can see the cards and we kind of have a chat about the card reading. Make sure everything's cleared up. 
so that's what we do too. It's formulated in the same way as the stream, it's just uh, a bit different. is a long time. You, you talk less than four minutes in a day, you think. Yeah, well, a lot of people have questions on how it works beforehand, and they'll ask questions like about the card reading like afterwards, or ask for clarification of something, and so we take our, we take our time. We, I don't ever do anything in a rush. So yeah, it's, it's, it's 40 minutes, sometimes longer, depending on how much somebody needs clarification or how much they want to talk about the reading. So it just depends. You can't imagine talking to somebody for 40 minutes, do you know? It's mostly me talking during that time, for the most part. All right, let's find somebody to raid. You guys ready? Who do we feel like raiding? Are we feeling sleepy still? Yeah, it's mostly just people uh, watching, listening to me relay the information of the reading. <laughs> Some people like to talk though, like to explain kind of their life circumstance and how the reading is kind of showing that and I definitely listen. Oh, we should do play in the mud. Do you guys want to watch? So Play in the Mud is a clay artist. They do clay work and they uh, have cats in the studio. I think she plays for chill music too. She talks a little bit louder. So I guess keep that in mind. She's going to be talking a bit louder. But she has cats in her studio. So you gotta like watch them hang out while she makes her pottery. It's pretty cool. I think Forest Fairy just pointed her out to us. Last time we were here? Ah, oh, Chloe Joy. Thank you so much. You think she's fun? <laughs> I like her. Yeah, I think that's who we'll do. Play in the mud. I've been watching her for a minute. I think we will, uh, I think we'll like her. Plus, I like watching her cats hang out in her studio, see what they're gonna do. I can't believe how her cats are kind of like my cat. They're very well behaved. Also, Twitch is being really odd at the moment. Oh, here we go. Now it's good. Now it's good, I think. Maybe. Yes, it is. Okay. We might be good now. Play in. Yeah, she's even got a tie-dye, uh, <laughs> she's even got a tie-dye, kind of rainbow, uh, apron, which we're doing a tie-dye, kind of rainbow sky, which is kind of funny. So that's what we're gonna raid today. I do appreciate you all very much for hanging out. Thank you so much, guys, for all the love and support for today. We got a lot of hosts. We had a lot of people just popping in to show support. We had, uh, a couple subscribers today, so thank you guys for that. Thank you mods for being awesome. Thank you Andrea for being a mod and being a raider and being a hostess. I appreciate you all very, very much. We'll catch you next time. We will, uh, now that we've got the large mandala done, we won't be doing nearly as much detail work, um, high detail work. Uh, the next time we come to this art piece, so we will have more progress as we go. But I appreciate you all very much, and hopefully you guys have a good evening. We're gonna raid, uh, play in the mud. So send her some hearts when you get over there. Thank you guys so much. Love and light to you all. Have a nice night. We'll catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. Bye, Metal Lunar. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. 
with her kitty cats. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. <laughs> you guys have a nice night. Bye, guys. And I appreciate all of you who watch the stream, like, after I'm done being live. Like, I just can't believe how many of you go back and watch. I just can't believe it. But I appreciate you guys, too. Thank you so very much. I hope you have a wonderful evening and sweet dreams. Or good morning. Or good afternoon. Or good evening. Whatever you want to use for the day. <laughs> Thank you.